random viewers that may come in on the stream are ruining it for me. Because the only, this is a pretty good fucking, like, mystery game, alright? I don't want it to be ruined by someone coming in and fucking taking a heaving shit all over my time. Alright, so, um, I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to send you away. Okay? And even then, we may have to go into emote-only mode if people get even, like, spicy in the sub in the subscriber only section but i think i am gonna have to send you away for now for now all right maybe it'll be better after a while but at least for now i think i'm gonna keep it on sub only mode while we play there is one thing though that you can help give me some input on all right we are gonna at least land before i turn it on subscriber only because i do want your input on which filter you want to use for the game okay because I, I i do i am curious about what your take is on that okay so we are going to play till like, I get on the boat, and then I will turn on some boat, okay? If you don't know what uh, Return of the Oprah Din is, it's essentially, you play as an insurance, uh, you just play as the insurance company. Uh, you go to this boat, and you're trying to find out what happened to everyone on it, so they can claim their insurance <laughs> premium. Yeah. Alright. Lost at sea, 1803, the good ship Oberdin, built 1796 London, 800 tons, 18 feet draught, Captain R. Witterell, crew 51 men, last voyage to Orient, Cape, rendezvous unmet. Contact East India, London office, for inquiries or testimony. The Honorable East India Company. Attention, Chief Inspector, Insurance and Claims, London Office. The Oberdin has returned. Dispatch to Falmouth immediately and prepare a full assessment. All right. Company man woke me up. Said you'd need ferry to the Oberdin. Not many eager for that job. Yeah. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't. Huh. What's in the box? I don't know. Hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. It is very quiet. Yeah, it's a quiet cutscene, chat. That's actually just extremely quiet. It was quiet before as well. But if you want, I'll crank up the game to ear splitting just for you, you whiny little bitches. All right, here's the thing I wanted to ask you guys before I silence half of you forever. We can either use this filter, all right, or we have some other options. This is not the default, okay? This is not the default filter for this game. This is the default filter. The sort of like, bit, like tan and white look. I think LCD looks better. But I also don't think this one looks that bad. LCD was better. LCD, LCD. If you guys, we can do green. Nah, we'll, I think we'll do, I think we'll do LCD. Or we can do uh, this one, which is just a little bit less uh, dark. It's got a little bit less contrast on it. Or we can do LCD, which is just the most hard thing well guess we should take a look around now that we're here we gotta fucking we gotta decide if they, if they qualify for insurance alright that that's a dead guy uh, can't get in this room IBM, it's a bit more easy on the eyes. IBM, IBM, IBM. Oh, you mean this IBM, not green IBM? I could do this IBM. I just put it to a vote. Uh, uh. <laughs> I think this one's fine. I think we'll do it like this. Just stick to it, so we're not going crazy and like swapping. 
Huh? It's too heavy! What do you mean it's too heavy? It's like a tiny fucking box. Alright, son of a bitch, what I, it's too heavy. It's too heavy, I'm too weak. Hang on, chat. Oh wait! It's time! Chat, once I pick up this horrible item from the chest. It's too heavy. Take it yourself or open it here. I'm gonna have to send some of you away forever. The c and you know what? I was thinking about not doing it for a second, and then I saw someone yell, My ass is too heavy. And thus... And the And thus... I no longer had to question my decisions. I'm sorry, chat. For the sake of me not getting the game instantly spoiled by a random person coming in, I have to... I have to... For now. My book. This is my special insurance book. Redeemed? Oh, good! Oh, that's a really good setting. Dude, I got a better idea. How about I turn off stream points forever? Shitty fucking terrible fucking message channel point bullshit. I'll kill it. And by it, I mean the whole thing. Bye-bye. Points. My 100 billion points? No! <laughs> Chat, I'm sure it saves them, but also I don't care if it did or didn't because all of my point shit is default and I'm never changing it because I think it's a stupid uh, addition to Twitch. Return of the Oberdin, a catalog of adventure and tragedy. The market's crashed! You killed it, the maniac! Preface. I trust that you now find yourself aboard the Oberdin. I expected this day to come. And my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Oberdin is critical. All right, I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but I've elected to keep them private for now. All right. The journey, the ship, the crew, life at sea, sketch. The journey. Atlantic leg of the Far East route. So why, why were they... Oh, this is their path. They went around Africa here. All the way back until here where they they died. I think. Okay. Deck plans. The crew. Oh, that's... We gotta solve the, the fate of every person on this list, chat. Just for... Just for context to the scale of... We have to find out every single person on this list ate shit and died. Alright? All 60 of them. We have to find out the exact way they ate it, too. No bullshit. Here's a picture of all the people on the ship. Like this weird skeleton man. And this guy. And this clown. And this, like, angry monkey in the background. And, like, this, like, two-faced guy. He's got, like, another face on the side of his face. And then we have, uh... This, if I scroll through all these, it's gonna scare some of you. But this is how many pages there are for, like, lore in this game. That we're gonna have to get through. Eventually. And here we are at the end. Alright. Stop! The memento mortem. Remember death. Alright, you have a good day now, you creepy fuck. You wait out here for me. I'm gonna be up here for like 20 minutes solving this insurance claim. Yeah. We all know if they can, they can get any money back on this exit. 50 bucks this guy slipped. Very hard on the wet waters after parking his ship here. A wave came in too hard. Ow, he fell. His head fell off of his body and that's why it's disconnected right there. Well, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now we're good. Okay. Uh. 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 
This is the captain. This right here? Captain of the ship. Check. We know this. We just confirmed it through deduction of the game. They called him the captain, then he shot that guy after talking about being the after he said in the audio, I'm the captain and I'm going to shoot you guy. This guy, right here, nice hat, right next to the captain. Probably a first mate or a second mate, something along those lines. This guy right here? Worthless. He's in the back. Probably not very important. Oh, and this guy definitely died. <laughs> this guy died. We know his skeleton's on the ground, so we can also identify how he died. And then, there, and then there's this guy. And then there's this goblin who doesn't even look like he was ever part of the crew. All right, we'll have to find out what that goblin's up to later. And that's pretty much how this game works. You ident you go into the past and see how people died and identify like look around and like use all the context clues of an area to connect the dots on how someone died, what happened to someone, what their like motivations were and I and then put it in the book. All right, so this is the end of the story. We we started at the end of the game basically. Outside the captain's quarters. Who is this? How did they die? Well, we know how he died. This is an unknown soul. We don't have any way to identify who he is. All I know is that all I can use is context clues that he's wearing a nice hat and he's standing right next to the captain in the picture, which means he's probably one of the higher ranking people in, you know, on the ship, right? We can use our deduction skills to connect some dots. But what we can say is that he got uh, crushed by a big beast. No, he got he got shot. He got shot by a uh he got shot by a gun. And he was shot by Robert Witterell because Robert Witterell is the captain. And we already know this. So that so we already have we have already narrowed down at least how this person was taken out to some extent. Cuz we know how he got he got fucked by the captain. Easy. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. And three other men were present at the time. Captain, random boy, random other boy, and this goblin, again, so. Case solved, case solved. Unless there's someone else still up here. I'm not going into that spooky door yet. I need to take a look around. No, we're, we're clear, we're clear, everything's fine. Aside from this spooky little bastard, I don't like him. I do not like him, I don't like what he's up to. This place is a ghost town. Man, I fucking love Waldo. He eats knives. The door's open now. This was locked before. Jeez. Okay, lots of people died in here. And I think we know what happened to Knife Guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think now, I think we connected the dots on how Knife Guy ate it. <laughs> At some point. One of these, one of these two is Knife Guy, I think. All right, who's this one? Whoa, 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 whoa. Do we want to check that one first? I'm going to check this one first. Ah, that was accidental. Stop! Maybe I won't. Hey, must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. That was the sound of a fight, for the record. That, like, weird slapping thing they were doing was a fight. And then this guy, then this guy, the captain, of course, uh, became an asshole and slit this guy's fucking throat. So we know how they, we know how guy number two went down. Also, Captain Witterell had finished him off with the fucked up knife swing. Uh, yeah. Guy definitely 
This guy definitely died from getting shot really bad. Yes, it's all so easy to understand. Anything I'm missing? <laughs> I see, yes, it all makes sense now. This guy did a fucking trick and jumped, ra just vaulted right over the edge. He's gonna sneak in. All right, add it, add it to the list. Add it to the list. Part two, inside the captain's quarters. Who is this? How did they die? Uh, this guy with the weird cap. Don't know who he is. You, in this game, you can't identify... You don't, you don't know the knowledge. Well, you don't have enough context to put a name to someone's face unless their face is unblurred. Like, if we look at a picture of the captain close up, his face is nicely drawn and, like, finished. If someone's got a blurred, cam like, picture like this, it means you can't actually identify them yet you don't have enough information so you don't have to, like worry about like i think this guy's name is paul like you literally wouldn't be able to solve it so it just tells you like that this guy got uh sliced i i see knifed i think that's the only option he was knifed by robert witterell the captain he was knifed by robert all right uh where were they in the captain's quarters Location of the corpse. Yes, everything looks good here. Everything looks good. Torn apart. Don't worry about that, chat. There's made-up ones that don't ever happen in the game, I promise. Like, uh... Like, melted. That's not gonna happen. Alright, alright, alright. That was definitely... That's definitely Cap guy. He definitely got knifed. I can see from his cap. Uh, so over here we have... What I can only assume is Knife Boy. Because I don't see Captain's cap anywhere around. Actually, I guess he wouldn't- I guess he wasn't wearing it ever, so we wouldn't know that. I thought we were insurance people. We have to make sure these guys didn't fake it, you know? We have to make sure these guys didn't fake it, and that's why they sent me a paranormal investigator to- Ooh. Well, we know that didn't kill him because his, the knife was on the ground right there, yes. Knife's on the ground, the captain's now killed three people! By the looks of it. With just fucking brute force. This captain's a god. This guy's dead. He dies doing this. This door's open now. Oh. Some lady. Anyone else I should know about? Any anyone else like, like just hiding over the edge of the building? No? Anyone outside? Still just that guy. No, it's it's fine, it's fine. Everything's calm, everything's calm. Let's move on. It's all very straightforward. Yes, it all makes sense, Chad. It's all coming together. I think these guys might have slipped and fallen on the puddle of water on the deck. They weren't mopping the floors. They weren't mopping the floors. Someone slipped and started the whole chain reaction. Everyone else got mad because the captain hid the wet floor signs. So they went to go and get it. But he, when, when they got in, he says, I already threw them to the bottom of the sea. It's always wet down there. And then the deaths happened. How'd this guy die? Don't know who he is. Can't tell that, but he definitely got clubbed by Captain Robert Witterell. Yes, yes, yes. God makes sense. Another door opens. Let's get the hell out of here. But yeah, as you can see, this is how the game's mechanics works. It is really fascinating how they tell the story in this game. The door's open now. Ah, oh, frick. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn, I was hoping maybe he made it. Oh, is this person still here too? Yeah. All right, well. Abigail, your brother, my friend, I shot him. All dead. right. Abigail is the brother. I'll be with you soon, my love. Ah, an excellent amount of information. Forgive me. Yes! For everything. Alright! This girl 
is the sister of this guy. This guy is a friend of this guy. This guy is the husband of this girl. Oh, and he's also shot himself. <laughs> I think I covered, I don't think I covered that. He, he shot himself, he did a suicide. Yes, I think I've solved the mystery, chat. I think I've solved it. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I thought there was a body on the ground here. Yes. Yes. So now we should be able to identify this girl as well when we get around to it. Because now we know that she's probably the wife of the captain. Yes. Who is this? How did they die? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> this captain, this is the captain. This person's face is no longer blurred, which means they can now be identified. All right. Use the book in the pocket watch to gather enough information to deduce their identity. Revisit memories on the ship using the pocket watch to study relationships, appearances, and activities. Use the book maps, crew manifest, and artist sketches, page t pages two through four, along with the individual conversation logs to find clues about names, relationships, appearances, and roles. There were 60 people on the ship when it left England. Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy. Decisive information is rare. You will have to make assumptions using partial information. Some identities may only be revealed through a process of elimination. Good luck. This here, Ji Zhang, top man, was, uh, he did a suicide. That plain to see by spear. Let's go. This may or may not be correct. Fates are validated in sets of three. Correctly identify at least three people in their fates to have information typeset into the history book. All right, fuck you. It's Robert Witterell, the captain. He shot himself. Bada bing. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think that means once I get the information from Abigail's corpse, we will be able to identify who was shot outside. I mean, hell, we can probably partially confirm who it is right now by going to the crew. Because we know what the guy who was shot outside was someone close to Robert. Which means, considering he's got to be a friend of him, same, and the person has to have the same origin as Abigail. Wherever she is in. All right, same origin, and probably a first mate, or second or third mate. Or fourth mate. So we find Abigail from Scotland, Abigail Hoskett Witterell from Scotland. William Hoskett, first mate, was the guy that was shot outside. And Chad's as simple as that. He's right here. William, first mate, shot by a gun by Robert Witterell. Bada bing. Yes. Yes. Now that we've connected the dots. We still don't know how to identify any of the other guys that were here. Because uh, there's no, they're meaningless. They're random past, they're like random crew members. But we've identified two of, two of the people. All that's left now is, what did you get sick? Oh, I, I, oh, I'm still, I'm still here. Oops. Sometimes I forget that I'm in the hell realm. To nobody for the insurance. Chat, these guys are not getting their claim. They're absolute. They absolutely. Chat. Actually, technically, murder might be covered by insurance. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Claim probably going to be denied. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest, dude. Claim's probably gonna be denied. But we can't say for sure that we can't cover it. They did get a pretty extensive coverage plan. Oh, 
Oh. Insurance does cover falling debris and uh on ships for sure. All right, we don't cover that. We do we don't cover this. Yeah, we don't we don't cover this. We don't have insurance for this. They definitely are not getting a claim on this one. They're, we cannot help them. We pretty much wrapped this up. That guy's someone important. Second mate, probably. Martin. There's Abigail getting slammed. <laughs> yeah, that's the Kraken. Yeah, man. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah, all these people. Definitely not getting covered. Who's that back there? Look at all them. Yeah, that'll work. Wait a minute, this guy's familiar. Where is he? No, I didn't get- Ah, oh, there was another guy. When was that? Chapter 7. Ah, oh, we were in chapter 10 before. This is chapter 7. When the when the big squid attacked. All right, Abigail. Who is this? How did they die? Allow me to enlighten you, game. Right here, right here, Alfred. <laughs> right here we have Abigail. All right, where the hell is she? Passenger Abigail Hoskett Witterell. Uh, got fucking crushed. I think crushed is the correct. Uh, explode, uh, exploded. Her head, she expired. No, she, her head exploded. Um, no, it's, uh, it's either she, she was struck, I guess. Nah, struck doesn't count. Uh, yeah, she got, she got crushed by a, by cargo? Rigging? Is it rigging? I think that's, I think, I think that's rigging. That's like a, that was a big stick. That's the rigging. There we go. Well done. Three fates correct. Excellent, excellent. She was crushed by fallen rigging. William Hoskett, first mate, shot by gun by Captain Witterell, who then shot himself. Very good. Very good. Three of 60 done. Simple as that. Wait a minute, I'm not done with you yet, though. I still don't know who this guy is. Or that fucking absolutely destroyed- Wait a minute, I do know this guy! That's fucking Goblin Jones! I recognize him from the first time we saw him. Chat, we know Goblin Jones. Well, we don't know his name, but we know him. Who's this? A tattoo guy that is super dead. Yeah, that guy's gone. And this guy? Normal man. This guy? The penguin. Ah, I knew he was here. I fucking knew it a mile away that the penguin was gonna be involved in this somehow. Bada bing, bada bam. <laughs> Deduced. And that's everyone. Hang on. Yeah, no, 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 no. We're done here. We're done here. Let me activate my action. Uh, what? Uh, what? Ah. Uh what you want me to he wants me to check out this body I think I just absorbed his soul oh I think it's driving I think the game is like taking me to his body now yes take me there spirit where did you perish Oh, you're just making the bo- Ah, yes. Yo, John! You should see this shit! Dead corpses are coming out of my weird watch! John? Oh, well. Oh, there is. Yeah, there is. Yep. 
There he all is. Hey, we know how he died. Hey, at, le at least now it's confirmed. Ripped in half by the Kraken. This guy watched. The spear guy. Look at his fucking dopey look in his eyes. He's, he's barely even concerned for his friend right now. This here's uh, some guy. Gun boy. Oh, that, that guy's got a nice hat. Anyone that has a nice hat is like somewhat important. This guy's pleading with the with the Kraken. Go. Small animal. Oh, he, oh, he's trying to get a gun from the penguin. All right. All right, I think we can connect the dots on how this guy died. Wait. We technically have enough to get his fucking name down? I don't know about that one yet. I don't know about that one yet. I haven't heard a single name in a little bit. We'll have to hang on. We're going to see on that one. But I at least know that he got ripped in half. Uh, what is, what is the proper way to just torn apart by a beast? Yes, this unknown soul was torn apart by a terrible beast. I mean, it doesn't even matter if we have his name unless uh, without getting like a bunch of other names to like cross examine it with. So we don't need it yet. Uh, yeah, there was no dialogue in that one that helps me. If we go back to the last thing. Hang on. Martin, have you lost your mind? Martin, where's the captain? Yeah, none of that. I don't, I... Dude, you don't have this guy's fucking name. Are you crazy? What? All he did was, unless he, uh, unless he went like, My name is Paul! And then he died and I just couldn't hear it between like him screaming. I don't think we got his name in that one. All right, where are we headed now? We got over here, we got over here. That guy's got like the family guy dead, like death pose. Like when you like curl up and shit, like that classic LOL family guy pose. You guys know what I'm talking about. He's got that pose, he does. You know what I'm talking about. All right. This game's so good looking. Holy shit. I love the art style in this game. We continue. We must deduce how the animals died. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Who's this? Is there a guy in there? Okay. Oh! <laughs> no wonder he died with that fucking wacky pose. You dick! Who's this? Alright, they tossed like a bomb at him. Alright. Who's this? Oh, there's a... Uh, there's Tattoo Man. There's, this guy's got to be like the quartermaster or something, dude. This guy's got to be like the quartermaster. He has like all the guns. He's got to be like a he's got to be like a quartermaster or something. Something something in that section. He's got the guns. He's got like weapons and shit. And everyone that has a hat is very important. Remember that. Gunman Jones, the gun guy. Whoa. 
Well, I still definitely didn't get any names from that. Who is this? How did they die? Well, this guy got, this guy, unknown soul, met an unknown fate. But really, he was exploded. I'm pretty sure the Kraken uh, did not kill him. I don't think the big squid did the, did the deed. I don't think we can pin this on him and take him to court for this one. I think this one was, uh, I think this one was a bomb. He got blown up. Alright. Unless they kill stole. Yeah, dude, we didn't think about that. There's a chance of kill stealing uh, in our midst. They might have kill stole. Alright. Well? Evidently, we have more work to do, more questions than need answers. I'm still skeptical that I have what I need to identify the fucking person that they think I can identify. Wherever the fuck he is in here. Where was he? I think I just used the fucking... I think I just used the... the list. Cause if I go to the if I go to the doom, I don't I don't think I have. It was like tattoo boy. Unknown soul. Let's try to connect the dots here. Anything say tattoo man? First mate steward. We need to know who. I mean, it'd certainly be a like a sea man or top man. I think. Cause it'd be people. It'd be someone that has to be on the top. Right? Because those are the people that would have been up there. Maybe Omid Gull? Like, those are some very exotic tattoos. I think we can write off a guy from... I think we can write off Timothy. They, they would have to be someone... Somewhat foreign, I think, with those tattoos. Hey, chat. Please keep in mind that that wasn't your cue to begin your work, to begin your spoiling work, even here in the sub-only mode. Just keep that in mind as well. Some of your messages are a little bit more, a little bit more oddly specific than others to the point of concerning. All right, let's ask the cannoneer. Crushed by a cannon. Who's this jabroni? Dead for sure. All right, this is all during the Kraken attack. I can't get up there to like check if there's anyone still up there or not. Nothing weird, nothing weird out here. this guy I wish see this guy a couple of times to the point where we can identify him he must be the second mate that guy whenever we get to his death we'll be able to identify him he's gotta be second mate second mate or third mate considering he's standing right next to the captain I'm assuming second considering we already have first and the second mate would stand the next closest to the captain anyone with a hat is extremely important at least we know this guy uh, crushed by a cannon. Yes. Alright. Where am I going now? I don't even know who this one is, but I don't see a head attached to their body. Uh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Gang, I think this guy got really exploded. Yeah, I think this guy got fucking obliterated. 
Let's let the let's let the dust. Uh, yeah, I'm seeing I'm seeing I'm connecting some dots here. Oops. 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 Yeah, well, hey, sometimes it just be like that, baby. That's a guy in there. That's that's the penguin. Wait, no, the penguin was still alive later. That's a penguin associate. Imagine being this unlucky. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta feel almost bad for these clowns. There's a... Wait, is that Tattoo Boy? He's down here in the cannon section. I think we've been in the wrong section. He was here before he was up there. Loading cannons. So he's got the thing. All right. That's... that's Goblin Guy. These two are both... These two are both handling cannons. All right. All right. These two are both on cannon duty. Who is this? How did they die? Top Hat guy was the one that was slammed by the- who was shot by the cannon. I'm pretty sure. I don't even- I think I'd have to go back in to check who that was again. Unless they both died like that, I just didn't see the other body in the fucking pile. I think they both exploded in that same one. I don't, I didn't mean to identify him, dude, but thanks for the extra help, Kim. Okay. Okay. All right, I, 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 I know I can't, I, 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 I know, I know, bro. Okay. Yeah, this guy was, uh, this guy was blown up, shot by a cannon. Or was he exploded? No, no, well, well. I think whoever was in the shot line was shot, technically. If there's someone that I didn't see behind it that was also hit by the, like, recoil of it, they explode. I don't think... Is it really... Is it really that... Was blasted by a cannon by themselves, essentially. I think that... I think I need to take another look, because this one's a little bit more specific what I need to say. Because technically, whoever was operating the cannon would be responsible for his death. And I would say that he was shot by a cannon by... Oh, Peter. You know? Don't think I can add much more to that. I don't even want to change... I think I need to go back into this one. Oh. Ah, yes. I think that's the guy that we missed. Yeah, I need to go back into this one once I'm done connecting the dot to the next spot to, uh, to edit that. Oh, wait, is that him? Yo, is that you? I think that's him. Where'd his body end up? Because I don't see it under there. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Nope. There it is. There it is. It's just way under there. So that means that guy got crushed. But I guess I'll do this first before I go back in there. This guy got crushed by a cannon. Alright, this is this helps. This helps. So Top Hat guy definitely shot by the cannon. And this guy lit the fuse, so technically he was shot by whoever this guy is. 
And this guy here means two people were killed by the cat. All right, so now we're connected. Those two are both shot by the cannon. There was just so much grime in that explosion. I literally couldn't find the other body in the mess. But that means they were both shot by the same cannoneer, this guy, a double kill team kill. All right. That makes that adds up. Now I can sort of reconnect the dots. Over here, we just have a mess. Who is this? How did they die? Well, they got crushed. They get, This guy got technically... I think technically he died getting crushed by... The thing is, is that a cannon crush or is that a beast crush? Technically, he was crushed. He was crushed by the cannon that the beast was holding. So I think that's a can. He was crushed by a loose cannon. No, but it wasn't loose. It wasn't a loose cannon. It was a very intact cannon. We'll leave it as cannon for now. Ah, we'll make it beast for now. We'll we'll we'll, we'll make it beast, and we can change it to swap if that procs it when we're done. Then it procs it when we're done. We can fix it. I need to go. Back to these two. Uh, both of these were blasted by an, by a with a cannon by an unknown attacker right now. Okay, shot by a cannon. Both these two were shot in the pile by the same guy, this guy, right here. But we don't know who he was, nor can we identify anyone's name, so we can't actually solve any of these three yet. You don't even know who this guy was. All right. Hang on, I'm not done here. I need to know who this fucking guy was. These guys. I still... This guy right here? We've seen him around with his stupid cap. All right? Here's Wacky Knife Boy. Dude, these guys are like butts. That's Cap Guy from upstairs. All right, in the captain room at the end, and this is fucking knife guy from the end. Yeah, yeah. Hang on, I want to do another pass through with this guy. Dude, getting the drink here. Where you at? There you are. Unknown soul. He would have been a midshipman. No. Was he technically Gunner? No. This fucking asshole. We'll figure it out. This is technically midship. Or is this like top mid? Whatever. I think I'm supposed to leave the door, the room now. Go in the spirit door and leave. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll figure it out. Don't worry. We'll, we'll crack this case wide open in due time. In due time. There is a lot more ship to solve. Whose body is this one? Do I know what this one is? I know. I, I opened the book while the pocket watch is open to flip directly to the relevant page. I'm well aware I just did it. All right, that's crushed by cannon, boy. Any other bodies in this pile? There could be like bodies squished anywhere around here, dude. This place is a madhouse. I'm not seeing any other weird corpses. I think we can move on for a bit. Bit disappointing everyone wasn't wearing their name tags on this trip. True, dude. That's what I'm fucking saying. Hey. Okay, we got two bodies in there. Pop this one open. What do we got in here? Any bodies? No. Everything's clean in that room. Uh, books. I mean, if we were actually doing investigations, we'd also be picking up these books because some of these people are probably literate and literally identify themselves in their books to some extent. So I cross check who's sleeping where. I got cannon room again. Oh, that's sad. 
Every night when they when they need to use the cannon, they run they run into my room, and they have to use the cannon in my room when I'm trying to sleep. I've already been in there. All right. Check all these rooms. That's his wife, his cannon wife. I see. Nothing. That door's locked. Can't go in there. Nothing. A ghost town. Or I guess you could say ghost ship. Toilets. Dude, I hate toilets with windows. I hate it. I especially hate communal toilets. Where both people sit down without any barrier. You told me they couldn't afford to put a little more wood up? Bullshit. Cheapskate, son of a bitch. Whatever. Whatever, let's ask, uh, let's ask what happened in here. Is that two bodies or is that one really fucked up body? I think it's just one. Oh no, you're cut. Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. T tell Pete's mother I, I... Pete? I tried my best. Aye. To pull him back to save him. You tell her yourself. <laughs> Brennan, bring the surgeon's kit. Someone named Pete got fucking screwed up and ripped up. Hang on, wait a minute. All right, hang on. We might be able to. Ah, yes. Second, there's the first mate again. Jesus Christ! This guy got. This guy got cut up bad. Most of his blood's outside of him by now. This guy doesn't know what's happening. Oh, that's Gunboy. That guy's head is... Yo, dude, who the fuck is this guy? He just crushed this... He crushed Beard Man's face in. And this guy... And he's like, huh? All right, um, wait, I'm not done with you. Who's that? No! Whatever. He's dabbing. I want to die dabbing. That guarantees you get into heaven. Or maybe hell, I'm not sure I haven't checked. This is chapter six, The Escape. Who is this? How did they die? Technically blood loss, if we're being technical, but I guess the cause, uh, well, it said they were cut. He said cut, but the guy that he went away from was carrying a bat. I would be shocked to find out that he died from the bat bleeding. I don't think that's cause. I think he got knifed. We'll just say he was knifed by an unknown attacker for now. What does expire even mean? I think old age. Or like, I don't know. Either way, I got some more people to identify. There's Goblin Man again. Dude, I think these two went fucking crazy. I think these two went fucking nuts and killed most of the ship. For starters, they're always around at the same time. They're always around. Same place, same time. I guess this will explain. This will help connect the dots on what happened to that guy. All right, if we figure out with how this guy went, he'll connect us. To, he'll connect us all the way back. Let's see where this went. Let's see where this leads us. Not nah, chat, this is before the Kraken. This was happening before even the Kraken came. You gotta pay attention to the chapters. This is chapters. We're on chapter. Oh, wait, no, this is after the Kraken. Wait, IX. Oh, yeah, no, you guys are right. I'm an idiot. I don't know how fucking Roman numerals work. Don't Omega lol at me or I'll fucking freak out! Watch all this shit, Gab. Oh! Oh, 
the fuck? This guy's carrying a gun. He got smacked in the back. Oh! Oh! I see. This guy shot that guy's head off. I thought there was something off. It'd be hard to fucking... It would take a lot of swings to break someone's head in with a bat. So he killed that guy after this guy killed that guy. This guy was crawl. Oh! This guy got stabbed by that guy who then shot- Who then got shot by that guy who then got killed by this guy who hit him in the back of the head! Ah, yes. And there's the first mate. Going down to check on him who's currently crawling away after being stabbed in the back. He tried to save Pete. Tried to save a guy named Pete and then wanted to talk to Pete's mom. Afterwards. I see, I remember. That's the only name that we have is someone named Pete. Everything else is context clues. Who is this? How did they die? Well, uh, this is this was a guy who was clubbed by an unknown person. Currently, we don't have we don't have his ID, but he was clubbed. What's all this, you damn fool? Yeah, yeah. This guy went on a psycho rampage. We're getting moved through all like the stories so quickly. I don't have much time to connect any dots yet. Well, once we get this guy, all right. Well, once we finish this guy, once we find out how this guy ain't shit, okay, once we once we find this guy, say I hate you, Darren, and then he shoots him. Then, then we will know who everyone is. We'll be able to connect the dots. We just need one person to say I don't like you, and I'm killing you because your name is like. You know, Michael. Oh! This guy was planning a mutiny. This dude right here wrestled the gun out of his fucking hand. I think. Because there's no way this guy sounds. There's no way this old looking guy sounds like that. Yeah, this guy sounds way too old. Well, we know how Beard Guy went. After all this time. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. I need to listen. Hang on. I need to like, listen to the audio of this again. Because this guy, this guy was already stabbed. I think he got stabbed while running about the mutiny. And then someone else ran in to help him. This guy. Because I think he was running to ye yelling mutiny and then he got stabbed. Beard guy was my favorite. No, he wasn't. No one liked Beard Guy. Okay, so... Yeah, this guy said enough, Captain. Can't be trusted. You have a plan. It's tricky. But at least we know how he died. He was shot. By a gun. By an unknown attacker, because currently we have no names for these people. <laughs> hey, at least we know how they all died. At least we're able to connect that dot. I need one fucking, I need one good one, Chad. I need one good reveal. What the hell are these guys? Now, there's a lot of guys here. Well, <laughs> what the hell's happening up here? Was the mutiny like happening in real fucking time? Man, they popped off that mutiny quick when he yelled mutiny, dude. If this is how it actually went down. I guess everyone heard mutiny, mutiny. Oh, fuck it. Everyone pick a side. And then like, yeah. 
Ah, oops. Like a flash mob. Let them go. All right. All right. So these people were trying to leave via an a, like a, 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 a you know one of the boats. These two probably yes shot this guy whom we don't know. Then we have these two. This looks like first mate and uh Gun boy, captain, also shot this guy. I'm pretty sure they were. I don't. When there's this goblin again. Okay. Looks like this guy. Mm. Mm. Yes, it all makes sense right now. I don't fucking get it. Chad, I'm completely fucking lost. I don't understand a single fucking... I, this just added a whole new dynamic that I can't connect any dots on. I mean, I know about a fucking tenth of the story, so of course I'm not going to be able to connect many fucking dots. This guy was shot... <laughs> by a gun. Bada bing. He's been in five memories. This guy was in the first memory, escaped. Perished in escape part three. Bookmark, bookmark all memories where they appear for quicker navigation. All right. Use buttons at the top of the page to edit bookmarks and navigate between them. There he is. Wait a minute. First memory. So he, he appeared in this one as well. Where the guy got crushed. Okay. All right. All right. I can start. We can. We can. We can start connecting some of the dots. But uh, not on that guy. God, that's not giving me a break to like look. Around. I need to get to the end of like a chain so I can start. Cause I think I can actually identify some people now. I think I can do some fates. I think I have enough info to do it. But I don't want to do it when it's like still giving me story beats like this. I need to get- I need to get to the end of, like, a chain. Alright. Let- let it continue. Let the story continue. For now. Alright. I guess knowing if this guy was part of the escape crew, which definitely got out, they left, or if they were part of the crew trying to stop them, is helpful. Yes. Last one. Move quick. You'll not take the last part. Pull! I have pull! So they were trying to stop this year's Paul. Oh, wait, was it Paul? Well, this guy's great. This guy's actually cleared, so it must be Paul. Yeah, it's Paul. This is I. This might be Paul's uh, mom, wife, a family member of some description. Because ah, uh, there's also this person that we can also identify. I don't see why moms would be coming on the ship. But he was talking about Paul's mom, the guy in the guy under the deck. So I, I have to keep mom on the factors for now. And then we got then we got the same the usual suspects from up top at the beginning. There's a lot of fucking people just like around. What the fuck? Give me time! <laughs> Come on, man! I ain't done! Who is this? How did they die? Well, this man was stabbed. This man was stabbed. Uh, I guess, clubbed, clawed, eaten, no, killed by a sword. 
by someone we don't know. But his name is Paul. We know this. He's Paul Moss. This might be... Actually, wait. If there's more than one Paul, I'm going to cry. There's never been more than one Paul allowed in a boat at the same time. It's bad luck for the, for the, for the trip. Everyone knows this. That's like rule one. Never bring two Pauls. Bad luck. Bad luck. So we're looking at... Also, it'd be fucked up for the dev to do that to, to like, the game. Like, this early. So I think we're dealing with Paul Moss. We're looking at a Paul Moss here. First mate, Stewart. Well, considering it was the first mate who was running to help him... When he got stabbed... That adds up. Because the first mate's present in this scene. Running to help him. Just never bring a Paul on board. Yeah, exactly. 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 Just don't bring him on board. You'll not take the last boat. Yeah. Alright, so let's look for other mo like other people with moss in their name quick. In the crude ledger. Because this person, whoever's down there, might be related to Paul Moss. Uh, ledger. Looking for someone with Moss in their last. Paul Moss right there. Unless. I'm not seeing another Moss. Which means that that might not, which means that that might not be anyone related to Paul directly. Or, it's a family member of Paul that's married to someone else so that their last name changed. Yes. Or they're just buds. Also possible they might just be buds. Possible, possible. What if Paul was just a nickname and his real name is... Ah, yes, Chad, his real name. His real name is Wei Li. <laughs> From China. That makes sense now. Okay, good. I was just about to ask about this guy. Because this was like... This was what I ran down to check. Man, that guy down by the boat waiting for me right now must be weirded out. There's hear me scamper up and down the fucking deck. Rapidly, like, pull it, pressing watch, like my watch. Talking to myself as I deduce. Who says he's waiting? Oh, he's waiting. I pay his wages. See? He's waiting. The last mystery will be to solve how he died after I kill him. All right. Let's add even more confusion to my current story. Put me down. Let go. Easy now. You're in a bad way. It's the squid. Where is my Frenchman? The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. No doubt. The beast is dead. How? How did you kill it? We didn't. Threat. With the storm. Captain came up from the hole. Said he chased it off. <coughs> you should rest. A curse like that. Does that fit for nothing? <gasps> hmm. Yes. Yes. Where is my Frenchman? And he said verdant. Chat, translate that. What language is that? We might actually be able to identify this guy right now. What, what language? Is that German? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Penguin! No! Well. Oh, I can't do it until I'm done with the thing. Verdant. Verdant. Oh, and there's the captain. Going upstairs. Who's this? Ah, yes. Ah, yes, and there's the first mate. It all makes sense now. 
It's a German swear word. I get the weird feeling we're gonna have to identify people based off of their accents, chat. <laughs> oh no! Well, this guy died. This guy's arm was ripped off. Okay. So. First of all, people from Germany. Any Germans in this list? Chat, there's no Germans in this list. He might be the bosun. Where's my Frenchman? Where's... Because, you know... If we narrow it down... There's only one French guy on the fucking ship. And it's this one. Right. Charles Minor, bosun's mate. Which means this guy is the Austrian Alfred Klistil. Because he's the bosun. Okay. Austria is very close to Germany. Yes. Austrian is basically German. True, true. I think it's the bosun. Now, how did he fucking... Well, here's the thing is that this is... He died... I guess because he was torn... His arm was fucking ripped off. But he technically died of blood loss. But there is no blood loss death. You can say he expired. Disarmed. Decapitated. Doesn't that imply head? Not arm. I think I was like, I think I'm gonna say torn apart by uh, a beast. By a terrible beast. For now. Cause that was not a, that was not a, that was his whole fucking arm. That was his whole deal. This guy, Paul Moss, first mate steward. Wait a minute. Huh. We need to, we now know that the bosun's mate was on the deck and died. I don't think this would be him. But he was definitely killed by hang on put me down let me go your mate was torn apart it had to be someone that was ripped up by the squid and that's only tattoo boy everyone else was blown up <laughs> by like their buds up there there aren't many people that died this guy got blown up he wasn't ripped apart by the squid he got exploded this person crushed by the cannon this guy blown up this guy crushed Chad, I think it's Tattoo Guy. I think Tattoo Guy is the bosun's mate. No one else up there died. I think it's this guy. I think this guy is Charles Minor. Torn apart by a terrible beast. Yes. Yes. Yes, because now that literally nothing else... We have all the information from who died up here. The only other thing, we can technically identify this guy, but hang on. How close is this guy? Hang on. He's not near the bosun. Then again, there is no... Hmm. This guy exploded. Unless, unless they're literally going to say that that technically means that the Kraken got him. But you take it, that was the exp the bomb got him, yeah? The bomb got him. Hmm. I mean, I can identify who this guy is too, technically. What else has this guy been in? To the main bit quick. He was in two memories. This soul appears in two memories. First memory in Perished in Doom Part 6. Uh, I don't think he was in that many memories, dude. He was in two. I don't. It's a pretty. It's gonna be a reach to get his info very quickly. I think. I think we're. I think this is it. Cause he's the only one that was very obviously torn apart. It's sort of a reach to say that the other guy got torn apart. He got blew up. I'm gonna stick with that for now. I think we. I think we got a pretty good thing going there. 
That's about the closest guess we can make this early, I think, without more context to like who else is around all these people. Oh, it's time to leave. God, this game is really cool. Huh? Disappearances. Escape. All these people. Four wayward souls disappeared during the events of this chapter. Their fates are cataloged here. Well, apparently we can identify them by name. Technically. Well, two of them. We can identify the two women. They got the same fucking weird smile. Yes. Yes. They've got the same fucking look in their eyes. Like they're like they always planned on getting off of this goddamn ship. The whole time. See what I'm looking at? See that fucking like that fucking grin? Basically the same person. So far, I've only seen, like, three women on the ship. Yeah, that does make it sort of easy. Let's take a look here. Wait, what's that? This is a deduction rating. Okay. The higher rating means it will be more difficult to deduce this person's identity. Focus on easily deduced identities first and leave the more difficult ones for later. Well, uh... Emily Jackson, Miss Jane Bird... Passengers. It'd be anyone in the passenger section are these women for the most part. But yeah, I don't think there's any way I'm putting a name on any of these people just yet. All I know is that they is they technically this one specifically was on the boat. But we don't have this wants us to like give a direct location to where they went when they escaped, so we can't do that. So we're just gonna have to leave these ones as is for now. All we know for a fact is that those people were on the boat. All right. Let's begin some deductions. Yes. It's not gonna let, oh my God, already lets me go down to the next floor. I feel like I got some detective work to do before I fucking open up this can of worms. I feel like I've got some things I can do. Like I, I can sort of ID some people, I think. Like this guy should be doable. At this point. And I know I can revisit memories. But this guy, this boy right here. We can't give him his name. We know that he was stabbed. Hang on. Get me out of here. We can, I feel like some of the gang in this group, we can sort of get to the bottom of. No, can't do that one. Can't do that one, really. Maybe, maybe I'm an idiot. Maybe we can't. But I should be able, at least one more fate should be solvable. This guy? This guy was killed by the explosion. This was Bomb Boy. Get to the main bit quick. I don't speak fucking gibberish. I don't. What else was this guy in? We need his other memories. Low deduction. He was only in two things. Perished in Doom Part 6. Literally nothing else. But he was depicted in the Justice at Sea sketch. Pretty close to the front. He wasn't wearing any like other grody stuff. I think this guy might have been. Huh. I and mean, this guy might have been somewhat higher up. Because he's wearing nicer clothes. But he's not wearing a hat, which makes him lower class. By logic. I feel like we got him pretty much set up. That's still first mate, piece of cake. Know him. This guy? This guy we don't know the name of. But he's been in a lot of stuff. He should be pretty easy to find out at this point. This soul appears in nine memories. I gotta, like, go through all of them. Show me his first memory. He appeared here in the gun memory. 
I wish I could like jack into this memory without having to like go walk down to it, you know? Yes. Yes. I'll have to activate my brain soon to continue to actually find out what the hell is happening here. But this guy's got a hat on. And also must have been someone in the lower deck for certain. He was down there casually. Right, I'm gonna take a trip down to the lower deck again. There's some stuff. We moved through the everything in the cannon the chaos section really quickly. I think we can I think we can find out some things. Take me back to the doom. Yes. Where's my man? Not you. Not you yet. Or you. You should already be present. Sir, this is the second mate. I know that this guy's gotta be second mate. Hang on. I would need to go into the doom to find... Actually, he didn't die here, so I can't ID him yet. Actually, I guess if I go into the crew, the crew ledger, I can at least get his name to his face. Second mate is this guy. Yep. All right. I'm almost positive that's second mate. I don't think he's in this one yet. I don't think the guy I'm looking for is in this one. No, that's, that's, that's squished boy. Here's pile of meat section. I still don't, I still can't find the second body in this. There's so much mess in this corner. I can't find the second corpse. It's bad. That guy got like liquid, he got liquefied. All right, where's my exit door? There it is. The guy got fucking turned into goop. All right, all right, all right. All right. I don't think I have a very good understanding of crew dynamic. So I think I'm gonna struggle with like midshipman, topman. All right, chat, what's the difference between a topman and a seaman? Can someone explain that to me? The difference between these two? Glossary? Is there a glossary? Oh! Hey! Hey! A bosun foreman in charge of general crew operations and equipment required to sail the ship. Gunners uh, in charge of weapons and military procedures on the ship. Surely that would be the guys handling the cannons. Topman. Higher rated seamen specializing in working above deck in sails and ringy and rigging. Okay, and uh midshipman? Officer in training. Assists various officers and tradesmen in order to learn ship operations, usually of privileged status. Okay. None of the boys in the gun none of the guys that are down here look very well off. Look sort of sad. Where's the gunners? Christian Wolf. Gunner and gunner mate. Gunner's mate. Hang on. This guy. Hat boy. Hat boy with the beard. I know I can't identify him yet, but I got a hunch that he's the gunner. Oh! Oh, was, hang on chat. I got a message on the Discord. It's from my boy Sput. Allow me to turn off my Discord. Okay. I love that Discord resets my sounds every single time. I love that. All right. I think I'm just gonna keep exploring the, the, the stories for now. Before we go, before we go. Deep diving into the fucking 
technicalities of someone's job description and listening for accents on them. I think I want to. I think I want to dive a little bit deeper into the depths of the ship and get distracted even more. This looks like the kitchen. Or like, oh, I know this is the armory. <laughs> this is how. This is where they get the knives to cut the chicken. In the armory. Here we have a uh, hammer zone, which leads to the outer ring of the ship. Yes, yes, very good. Yes, not many bodies around here for all the blood that there is, actually. Sort of disturbing how little... What the hell? Do I need to know? All right, we're finding out the lore of this dead animal. Better here. One swing. Get true to skull in stone or brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Here? Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. <laughs> 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 Never been on a farm, Charlie. Charlie. Someone said her name. That's my shit, dude. That must be. Ch oh. Oh, we can identify all these guys because they're the. They work in the cook department. Oh, that's Charlie. All right, this year's Charlie. We know this. Uh, all right. Where's Charlie? Charles Minor. That ain't Charlie. That is not our Charlie. Charles Hirschdick. That sounds about right, actually. Midshipman from England. Ah. Uh, Charles, where the hell are you? There you are. There you are, Charles. All right. This guy right here is wearing an apron. If I had to take a guess, I would say this guy right here, this guy right here, all right? Butcher, Emil O'Farrell, the butcher, wearing an apron, it's so obvious. Bada bing. This guy's like pretty nice looking, these two. I don't know if I could get those two yet. I think there was a midshipman named Charlie. Yeah, that's the one I literally just labeled as Charlie, chat. <laughs> I, I I got him. Yep. Already got him. Charles Hershtick. Midshipman. There he is. Well done. You figure you cracked the code. Chicken. Cock. Down there, right there. Wait a minute. No! Oh, this is this is early in the story. A bitter cold. Nice and early. On the Orlock deck. Take him to the carpenters. Wait a minute. That guy might not be the butcher. I think he might be the carpenter. Why the hell would the Why the hell would the carpenter? Why would they take him to the carpenter? Not the butchers. Well, at least we know who Charlie is. Take him to the carpenters. Ten others were present. This might be the carpenter. Knifed, exploded. Wait a minute. Oh, these guys are all friends. Yeah, Charles Hershtick. Wait a minute, we should check last names. What if they're all brothers? They all look sort of the same. They all got the same dopey look. Especially these two. They're all buds, they're all hanging out together. 
Yes. Bunch of frat boys. Hang on. Might be able to connect some dots on that. Who's this guy? People in the basement. Spear guys. Ah, uh, who's this one? Fresh meat. Fresh meat. Dude, this guy's got a fucking pet monkey. That's good shit. That's good shit. I like that a lot. Big fan. All right. Guess it's time to ask the big questions. Like, who's uh, who's this, who's this guy? Show me. But wait. Just gotta do a quick check of the crew for any hersticks. Herstick, 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 herstick. God damn it. Only one Charles Herstick, huh? I mean, where the hell is Charles Herstick? Well, gang, I think that's the three midshipmen's. Thomas and Peter. I think that's the three midshipmen's. Not sure which one is which, but I think those are the three midshipmen. Charles midshipman, Peter midshipman, Thomas midshipman. They're all in the same group. They're all in a trio. And they do everything together. I think they're the midship bros. And while I can't confirm which is which between these two jabronis, what I can say is that they're definitely all wearing the same kind of clothing. They're all near the captain, but not too close to look like they're really buddies. They all look like they have a, they, they have had very uncomfortable evenings because they haven't, ha they haven't been able to sleep in their nice silk beds because they're slightly well off. They've never been to a farm before. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. And two of them exploded. One of the, one or two of them died. I definitely remember seeing that on the memory list. I'm pretty sure they died on the top side. If we go back to the doom. Pretty sure a couple of these boys are literally in here as yeah. Didn't know how to handle it. They're midshipmen, but they don't know how to handle it. Honestly, dude, all we have to do is just swap and switch and swap the two names until it works, because we know it's one or the other. This is either Thomas or Peter. Hang on. Peter. Isn't that the guy who got stabbed? Isn't that, isn't that the guy who got, like, stabbed? Back here. Someone said something about Peter. Peter. The hell is he? Here, here, here he is. Here he is. There he is. Yeah. This unknown soul was knifed by an unknown attacker. Yeah, we don't know who. We don't know the name of the guy, but this is definitely one of the midshipmen because he's right next to fucking. He's right next to him. See that? Show me in the deck map. No, 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 no. I don't want to see deck map. I want show me in. The justice at sea, yes! Yes, all right. Tell Pete's mother I tried my best. Tell, you tell yourself, Brennan. All right, this is Brennan. This is Brennan. Brennan. Midshipman, Brennan. Brennan, there is no Brennan. Oh no. All my plans for not. All my plans for not. Brennan? There's no Brennan. Oh, Brennan, bring the surgeon kit. Oh, oops. Uh, no, Brennan, Brennan's the surgeon. Tell Pete's mother I tried my best to pull him back to save him. Okay, so Pete. Hell's Pete. Where's Pete in this list? 
So this isn't P. We know that, which means the other one's P. So, with that in mind, this is Thomas. Okay. Knifed by an unknown attacker. Okay. Now that we know that's Thomas, then we know the other one who got uh, ripped fucking real bad. Correct. Where is he? Where is he in this? There he is. Oh, yep. He tried to save him. Okay. We know how this- we got this guy down. Bada bing. Peter Milroy. Midshipman blasted by an explosion. He's done. Peter's done. That's Peter Milroy. Bada bing. Bada bam. Oh, Cacophony, if anyone back seats really clearly in here, you can feel free to permanently ban them. Or better yet, I guess, time them out for exactly 14 days. That's the most you can time someone out for on the- on Twitch. Uh, without banning them. I trust you to decide the difference between those two, but if they're a subscriber, uh, they should know better. Let's just get rid of them. Yes. Kill them. Destroy them. Okay, so, we don't know who knifed the boy, unfortunately. I don't think. We don't know who knifed the boy. We only know that I think this guy knifed him. Whoever Hat Boy was. But we know their names. We just can't fit we can't we just can't connect the dots on who knifed Thomas. But hey, everyone else in that gang is done. So hey, we did something. Feels good to figure it out. Uh, this game feels like it feels good to like solve them in this game or like get like start to get leads and be like ah yes now I see <laughs> It was Admiral Mustard in the bed in the wardroom same as the other fellow Some lung with the wrench Lung disease made worse by the cold we spread if so we'd all have it they Black lung I checked all hands just now Everyone is healthy. And him? <laughs> what are his chances? I gave him some laudanum. We'll see. <laughs> oh, good picture. This guy's very photogenic. Look at him get in frame for me. All right, this is the doctor. This here. Second mate again. And this here. Doctor's assistant. Looks like. And this here. The guy. The sick guy. I can't actually get him in frame to look at his picture. There he is. Alright. Hey! No, I want to see what's in there. Open it up. Alright, we've got a lot of bodies around here. Anything else I should know about? No. Okay. Well, I think this is the assistant. He doesn't look like he's very invested in most of this, but he's definitely there, hanging out. I don't think he'd be allowed to sit in here if he wasn't, like... Unless there's a difference between surgeon and doctor. Hang on, I should check if there's two. Because one might be the surgeon, one might be the doctor if there's if there's two. Surgeon, surgeon's mate. No, it's gonna be surgeon and surgeon's mate. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. You look like No Surgeons just do the cutting? Well I mean I don't see a doctor roll on the crew list. Well whatever. This guy died of uh This guy here died of illness. Tragic illness, the black lung. And now my, now my shit's vibrating. Hang on. All right. So there he is, right here. Who the fuck's this guy? He's holding the wheel. Wait a minute, wheel guy. One memory. He's only in one memory. 
We're solving a different one. This is Wheel Guy. Hang on, I'm on a different lead. I've lost the trail, I'm on a new one. Oh, the sm I can smell this lead. Driver Guy. Driver. Driver? Driver? Driver. Steer Man. Helmsman. Is that what a helmsman? I gotta check my glossary, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gotta check my glossary quick. I don't know what pirate lingo is. I need the guy who drives the ship. Helmsman. Control the ship's wheel. Bada bing. That's him. He was also on the top during the Kraken thing. Pirate lingo 101. Yes. Crew log. Well, that means we just identified the face. Of Finley Dalton. Helmsman. Hey, at least finding out who Edward Spratt is is gonna be fucking easy. Because he won't be helping or doing anything helpful at all the whole fucking time. Sergeant and Surgeon's mate. Yeah, Chad, I'm not seeing a... Fucking better ID. It's not like a top man is gonna be checking out people that are sick. Pretty sure we're dealing with Henry Evans. Uh, right here. I'm pretty sure we're dealing with, uh, James Wallace. Where the fuck are you, James? Where are you, James? 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 Where you at, James? James? Alright, James being shy right now. We'll find him later. We know his deal. And what do you look like again? You look like. Yeah, there you are, James, you fucking asshole. For now, we're gonna put these on as their names, unless something changes, because I think that makes. I think that makes general sense. And you? Did I already ID you? I feel like I did. I feel like I wouldn't have fucked that up. Edward Nichols. Okay, yeah. Yes, okay. Let's ask the big questions now, chat. Who's the mummy? Who's the fucking mummy? Who's the mummy? Why'd they bring King Ramses onto the ship? Where'd they move the body? when they were done with it. They'll have to return the slab or suffer his curse. I know how this happened! Oh my God. The slab. They found the slab, they tried to take it, and they suffered his curse. First, pestilence, the disease, second, Oh my god. Chat. How am I this fucking good? <laughs> Please don't make it this easy. Good feel. Hey. Come on, I want to see. Who? Are you dead? I think this guy's dead. He's dead? He's dead in there? No, surely not. They're just sleeping. Alright, so this is. Alright. Okay, this is Saeed. And here we have another guy. Looks like these are all part of the same, like, section. Alright. Let me crack this open. You. We know you're Saeed. And we know that whoever's talking to you is a friend of you. Where's Saeed on this list? Saeed, Saeed, Saeed. I mean, you'd be low. Omid Gull. Tomato secretly switched to easy mode. There is no easy mode. 
Also, I don't see any. I don't see this guy on the list. Am I going crazy? Mm -hmm. Philip Dahl. See ya. Am I fucking insane? Or was this guy never on the list? It might be his last name. Hang on, let me check last names. He is... Oh, Solomon. India. Solomon Said. Seaman. Okay. That's step one. And we know how he died, so he's already ID'd. Who are you? Okay. You are... Someone else from India. So you're either... Abraham Akbar or William Wassum. Or Renfred Raju. Okay. I can, uh, I, I mean, I have to operate in that assumption because they're all speaking the same, you know, they're all speaking that language. Way to assume. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's that much of a reach. There's four people in this grid. All right, it's these four. They're all in the same thing. We can ID the four fucking people from the Indian section, I think, because I think they put them in sections, dude. I'm going to be honest, chat. I think that... Get the, I don't. I feel like that's how they did it. <laughs> Tomato shows his true colors. I mean, I'm just saying, chat. One of them is Russian, though. We'll see about that, won't we? We can't assume anything until the very end. Kind of fucked up of you, Tamto. Chat, this was a different time. Also... The Russian guy was the guy playing cards on the fucking table behind us. You idiot! I baited you and you fell for it! Those guys were playing cards! Visibly in view! You idiots! You fucking morons! You goddamn buffoons! I'm right, you're wrong. A BWL. Pathetic. Pathetic. Well, at least we know how this guy ate it. Disease. Same way. Well done. Three more fates correct. Woo! Who else did I get right? Peter Milroy. Check. Alfred Kestel Boson was torn apart by a terrible blast. Well, it goes in packs of threes, so. It goes in packs of threes, so I'm not sure he exactly got the other ones wrong. Hmm? I'm not done here. No, no, I can't ID any of these guys. Dude. Uh, I'm telling you, chat. I'm telling you. I think I could figure out who these people are. Because this guy... This guy, I don't think, was in the conversation. This guy's concerned for him. This guy's like, worry about yourself, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Where is he on this fucking thing? There you are. He was crushed by a terrible beast. This guy was destroyed. He perished in the doom. Oh, yep, there he is. Oh, this guy was the guy who fucked up the thing. Huh? Oh, wait, no, he was crushed in the cannon attack. He, he was crushed by the beast. I don't know if we can... Yeah, we need more information on... Like, we can technically name them, but it would be a mix-up between who's who in this list. Because, uh... You know. There's three names. <laughs> we, we need more info. We need one more of them to, like, say who they are so we can sort of, like, flip-flop it. Because I don't think any of the others have said their name, and they're all the same rank, so there's no way to ID them properly with that, I don't think. Unless they're fucking 
Name tags are right here. Wait a minute. Shit! That's not clear enough. That's not English, I don't think. <laughs> no, it's not clear enough. I can't I can't read that. I don't think I think that's gibberish. I tried. I tried. You gotta give me some credit, I did try. Yeah, so those three are ready to identify as, as soon as we get, like, one more hint from them. Those three will be done. Oh, did I get all three? I solved everything that was possible to solve from here? I guess? Is what just happened? Is that what that means? So I solved, like, everything that was possible to get for a bitter cold. Is that what that those marks mean? Or does it just mean three dead people? Uh, I think I think it might be dead people. Well, whatever. I know I did it right. I know I'm a fucking smart boy. Come on, there's more. There's more things to identify. We got all this info off of a fucking cow body. All right, that was a long rabbit hole. We head inside the surgeon's room. Still nothing in here, nothing. Nothing. Here? Nothing. I gotta like look for animals that are dead because apparently those are worth like those are worth investigating. Mm, yes. It's always open. Wait, what the fuck is that? Whoa, 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 All right, well, now that we're, now that we're here. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Here we have Guy. With name I can give. Here we have other guy. Here we have what could only be a fourth mate. Even though it won't tell me, I'm almost positive. And then we have a girl from the picture here, Formosan royalty. Ah, yes. I don't think fucking Jim Bob down here is part of the royalty. Maybe he is. He doesn't look like it. Looks like he looks like part of like the looks like part of the semen. Like he doesn't look like he's part of the team. I I, I don't think that's mean. It doesn't look like he but unless it's just like the fucking resolution is bad. He doesn't he doesn't look like he looks like as grody as some of these guys, dude. He looks like he could be up there with blurry, like angry, like goblin. Or worse. Yeah, no, actually wait, that is the worst. That's the worst. Yeah, that's the worst. No, he could be guy doing the robot. Silk vest, though? I don't that doesn't look like it could just be silk. It also looks like it could just be a really dirty wife beater, dude. Or like a tank top. Like, same deal. Hey, at least now we know these two are Formosan. Oh, yeah! I remember seeing that guy with the spear standing there. I remember that. Remember spear guy? Who was like standing there when the, the the shit was happening? In like the last one? Yeah. So at least these two will be nice and identifiable because it looks like they glued those spears to their hands. Yes. What else we got? Oh, yikes. Man, this guy never gets a break. It's too bad we already identified him, so it doesn't matter. All right. Who the fuck is this? Oh, well. <laughs> what are they- what are they doing with the Formosan guys? There's a spear guy- oh. Yeah, there's more- I'm not done here, but there's more there. Murder. Alright. The 
has happened by the Canary Islands. Outside the first mate's window. Who is this? How did they die? On your toes, boys. Load her up. We best push off. Looks like this guy was trying to kidnap that Formosan girl. Well, he was shot. We don't know by who. Oh, wait, no. This guy was trying to stop it. This guy was trying to stop them from being kidnapped. He got shot by the person doing the kidnapping. He's definitely a seaman. Or something pretty low, I think. All right, we don't have much info on him. But he's way in the back, dude. He's like a nobody. He's like that low. Like, I'm gonna forget about it as soon as I close this book on him. Like, that's how fucking, that's how low he is. Do you understand? He's that low. I, I've already forgotten about him. Well, I guess it's good that we ask about the weird, uh, roped up boy. This will help narrow down the Formosan part quite a bit. Yes. I think it's wise that we get get this underway. Though it is weird that I can't see these bodies until I do this wacky follow the dust trail thing. It's quite quaint. Ah, yes. Yo, John! See what I just did? Yeah, pretty cool, huh? I'm like a time god. Huck Seng Lao. You have been found guilty by self-confession of the murder of Nunzio Pasquale. Quiet. As captain of this ship, and by the authority of the East India Company, and thus the Crown of England, I sentence you to death by firing line. Oh. Mr. Wolf, when you are ready. Right, sir. Mr. Wolf. Aim. This could help us a lot. Yeah, well, they hit him. Okay, well, we can identify him. That's, uh... That's Mr. Nunjao Pas... Hang on, I think I need to see the... I need to see the... See the... Where is this? What the hell is this? Murder. I need to see the... Oh, I guess I don't actually... I need to double check his name, but I don't see it until after we're done here. Because I don't see the transcript. Well, this is actually the picture when it happened. So I don't think I'm going to get much info on most of these people, but I do have... This guy's the guy who ordered them all to fire. Uh, penguin. Wait a minute, this isn't the penguin. This is the penguin. This is the penguin. This is Monopoly guy. And this is a ghost. It's cool that we get the picture, like, in the game. Wait a minute. Oh! Oh, gotcha, bitch! Bada bing, bada bam, bada bop! Artist located. I knew it. Hook Seng Lao. All right, that's your fucking name. You are a passenger. You were shot by gun. Hey, yo. I guess technically, okay, this is, this is sort of a weird technicality. Unless executed is somewhere in here. Because technically, you know, the captain ordered the kill. So does that mean he killed him? Because I can't apply that many names by a foreign enemy. 
I'd have to check how many people fucking missed. I mean, I can't apply that many names. Like, you just can't, so. I guess I'll just say. So I can't do that much. I'd have to look at the thing again to narrow it more than that. Am I gonna have to check which one hit? Oh, fuck you. All right, motherfucker. Hold up a second. Hit. 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 Miss. Miss. Most of them missed. This is... This guy missed. That guy missed. This guy? Right here? Hit. This boy right here. That's a hit. It's a hit on Hat Guy. But I don't know who Hat Guy is yet. I never named him. This guy? Miss. This guy? Miss. That guy? Miss. Alright, this guy's the one who killed him. Ta this guy with the beanie again. Fucking beanie guy. Fucking beanie guy. <sighs> but we still haven't gotten his name. We still haven't gotten his fucking name. He's been in so many. I feel like, considering he's not grayed out, I can get his name. I just haven't gotten it. And we can identify him pretty early, too. He's in so many memories. The bottom of the sea. That's a lie. Fucking beanie guy, dude. Well, we now know that he was shot. We'll say he was shot. We'll say for now. He was shot by, let's say. We'll do like one of the, we'll do one of the vague ones. Just so I know that I don't have it yet. He was shot by an unknown, not steward, an unknown topman. Let's say topman. This fucking guy too. I think we can ID this guy. He was shot by a cannon. When did this guy get shot? Oh yeah, I remember him. He was, he's definitely a spot of like, he's, he's definitely got, this guy might be the gunner. Actually. Hang on, I need to see the. As captain of the ship by the authority of the East India Company. Right, sir, ready men. Mr. Wolf. All right, Mr. Wolf. Mr. Wolf, there you are. After all this time, we finally have you. Mr. Wolf. Which then helps us fucking narrow down all the other boys in this line. Because he's above all of them. Mr. Wolf. Wolf, 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 wolf. Christian Wolf is the gunner. Who in this picture... Is that the gunner's mate? Hmm... Cause this guy's near him in this picture. Dude, I think this is the gunner's mate. Even though we don't have the name, I think I think we're getting close to finding out that's the gunner's mate just by just by context of where they're standing. Yes. Yes. Here's the problem is that I can't put the artist's face down because he has no face. So we basically identified the artist as a as a fucking signature line, which isn't exactly a good idea. There's the captain. Wait a minute, this artist fucked it! He's not st Oh wait, is he technically- hang on, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, he gave him legs! He was ducking last time! You faked it. Might actually be able to get a decent amount of stuff from this. Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. 
This guy. Right here, this guy. Seen in two memories. I think this guy's one of the people that manage it. Wait a fucking... Hold on one second, chat. I've already read about this. If, it, if I can see that ranking in here. Where is it? Is it not a thing? Ship steward, ship steward, midshipman, topman, seaman. It's not here. What's up? What's a purser? Hang on, I need to, I need to refresh my, my glossary understandings again. Because I was thinking, if those guys are sitting on there, maybe they're the, like, the rigging guys. Purser. Administrative officials, you're certainly not him. Topman. Well, we know he's a topman, I feel like. And then again, well, all these guys in the list here, on the firing line, are probably seamen. They're all sort of dressed like goblins, sort of grody, sort of gross in general. The midshipmen we have seen are pretty nice looking. Pretty sure we're dealing with, who's this pansy? Classic, who's this guy? You, I'm not done with you yet. Wow, this cat, we're really a good detective. That's Edward Spratt. Bada bing, bada bam, that's Edward. Found him. Found him in the where's wall, though. Was this guy in the picture? No, he was not in the picture. There's a couple people that aren't shown in the picture because they're like just off frame. That guy is... This guy? I think we're done here for now. I still don't know about how I'm gonna get Beanie Boy's fucking number. But I'm gonna get his number. Do you understand me? I'm gonna get Beanie Boy's fucking number. I don't care if it takes all fucking night. I want his number. The monkey was behind it. The monkey's immortal. He's definitely not dying on this mission. I am concerned about that cursed star underneath the water that's there, though. That's sort of creepy. I don't know what's that. what that's about. I'm going to get his number and I'm going to ask him out. That's right, chat. I am going on a date with him. Hello. Hello. Who is there? Who is that? Hi. Senor Nichols, is that you? Mm. What are you doing down here? Oh, hello. Yes. All fine here. Just uh, sorting some things. Watch your step. Here, let me help you. Senor Nichols, no! He killed violin guy! He killed violin guy. No! Well, fucking Senior Nichols, man. Where are you at? I mean, where are you at? Edward Nichols, second mate. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I fucked it up. So. That means you are, in fact, third or fourth mate. I'm going to label you as third mate until someone tells me you're fourth mate. But until that time in the lore. Miss? First mate, second mate. 
Wait a minute. First mate, second mate, third mate, fourth mate. That's definitely not a mate. No, no, no. I think this is fourth mate. It's either that. He's definitely dressed too nice to be anything else than that, dude. What the hell? Hey. Yeah, there's a uh, Huck again. And there's the cursed gem. Ah, yes. Yes. Ah, yes, there's the cursed gem. The slab, if you will. Well... Violin Boy has to be one of the guys that works in the depths, considering... I mean, I have to see the transcript again. Because he was also saying stuff that means that we can sort of ID him as, like, you know, based off his accent. We've got some stuff we can do here. Murder, part one. The corpse was moved post-mortem to others were present. Who was this? Who did they die? Hello? Who is there? Who is that? Is someone hurt? Senor Nichols. Senor. Senor. Senor and someone who works down the cargo deck. Stabbed. Knifed. By Edward Nichols, second mate. Who did they die? Senor. Senor. What the fuck says? Who says senor? It's like Spanish. But who else? Italy? Spanish? I, why did I say Spanish? Senor. Italian. I don't know. I'm bad with fucking languages, chat. Italy or Spain? Yeah. It takes me like, I, I like literally that part I'm happy to get help with if I'm like, oh, I don't know which of these two language, like what lang, what, what ethnicity am I looking for here? Like that I'm fine with. Italy. So we're looking for an Italian, I guess. I don't see any Italians on this either. Formosa? What's for- oh, here we go. Nunzio Pasqua. That's... Mm. He's the only Italian. And there's no Spanish. I think we gotta just operate on that, unless- What- what- Formosa's like Taiwan, okay. Yeah, I think we're dealing with this guy, I think he's a passenger. Looks like it. he's like playing violin, I don't- I think anyone else is doing that. I think this is Nunzio Pasqua. Yeah. Yeah. But that's our boy. Only Italians can legally play the violin. Very smart, chat. You guys are always onto something. You're very clever like that. Legally. Legally, you know. See, here's the problem is that I didn't get a, uh, I didn't get a super discovery for that, did I? Hang on, wait a minute. Murder, murder. Who died in all these? How many are we talking here? Okay, bada bing. Oh, yeah, this guy. Uh, eh, eh. Still don't really know how to ID this guy. If I heard his accent again, maybe. I have to go back and find his foot to hear that, though. Let's go check his foot. Because I think we can get him. If I hear his accent. Yeah. 
Slack the lift and lower the boats. The whole crew will be on us. Give it up. Give it up. That just sounds like normal English. Well, at least now we know what this second mate was very fucking obvious. I guess it was sort of obvious from the very beginning on that one. Yeah, these guys like fucking straight up tried to kidnap, I guess like trying to ransom them, kidnap them. I don't understand why it says I can't label this guy. I feel like I can. Actually, I guess maybe not. Passenger. Yeah, I guess I guess maybe not. Hoxing low. Yeah, I guess not. I would I would I wouldn't have the name. But they're definitely the other half of the royalty. Should be able to ID her though. Right? Right, man? Yes. Your whichever name is female from this list. Okay, chat. Do your thing. Bunland Lim? Don't think so. I think it's Chio Tan. It been. Wait a minute. Hmm. I don't fucking know. Yeah, that's about the answer I was expecting. <laughs> Your name is Bun Lan Lim. No. I need to know this. Wait a minute. If they're royalty, they should be probably sharing a similar surname. Lao Tan Lim. See. Bun Lan Lan Tan Chow. Ba Fuck this. You're dead. Doesn't matter. Your fate is meaningless. Get me out of here. You probably got ransomed anyways. Who cares? Who cares? Captain, uh, we're gonna check the dialogues real quick for the murder section. Hawk Sing Lao. You've been Nanshuo Pasqua. Okay. Miss Lim. There we go. Because I was able to... I, I have her unblurred, so I definitely knew I could. I'm still concerned about... I'm still... Chad, I'm still... Beanie guy. That elusive motherfucker. You understand? I knew it was Bun Lan Lim! Called it way before I need to check. Okay. This fucking guy. Chat. This fucking guy. It says I can ID him. But like. Where are they? They must be someplace. They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. Captain, open the door. Must we take it down and take more than those shells? Kick it in. He said kick it in. Hmm. <sighs> I mean... Let me look through the glossary. I might be able to narrow it based off of... Based off of their job description. Top man? Certainly not. Seaman? General manual labor and below deck? Rigging? Certainly not. Well, no, he, that would be... Midshipmen? Officers in training? Certainly not. This guy's a seaman. This guy's a seaman. He's everywhere. That or he's like the gunner's assistant, but that doesn't make much sense. He doesn't have any- all he has is a nice hat. We're dealing with a seaman. I want- I want to hear his wacky accent. I feel like I need to to know. I feel like you need to hear him die. You know what I'm saying? I need to hear him die. Once. One time. Just one more time. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. <laughs> there.
they're at. The bottom of the sea. That's a lie. All right. English classic. English classic. Pat boy. This guy's dressed so fucking averagely, he's totally a seaman. We know that. English seaman. I might narrow it a little bit. Maybe. Probably not gonna help much, but it might help it a little. Let's see, let's see the seaman list. You know? Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, we got it down to six people. We got down to six. Nathan Peters. Fucking Henry Brennan. Wait a minute. Didn't we already have Brennan? Wasn't there someone named Brennan? We've already heard of Brennan. It's not... It couldn't be Brennan. We already... Wait a fucking minute. Someone already talked about Brennan. I remember that in the fucking dialogues. Beep, 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 beep. Go back. What's all this, you damn fool? No. Uni mutiny. Captain cannot be trusted. You have a plan? No. Guy was in this one. He was part of the mutiny team. You go tell it. Brennan, bring the surgeon's kit. I need to see who was at the door here. I think there's another person at the door. That would help me narrow who the fuck that is, at least. We gotta go back to who died down there. We need to find out who Brennan was. Where are you? Where are you, you son of a bitch? Here you are. Yes! Brennan the Seaman brought us- Try- it. was starting to bring a surgeon's kit. Oh no! You're cut! Don't. Leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. T tell Pete's mother I, I- I tried my best. Aye. To pull him back, to save him. You tell her yourself. <laughs> Brennan, bring the surgeon's kit. All right, yeah. All right. Brennan's not here. <laughs> Brennan's got to be in here somewhere. That's not Brennan. Wait a minute. Brennan's using his ears. Oh, it's him, baby! This is Brennan! You can tell because whenever someone hears something, that whenever someone says their name, they put their hand up to their ear to show that they're listening. This is a reach. Henry Brennan. I'm also operating on that assumption because this guy's friends with that guy because they both died at the same point. So I think Brennan's friends with this guy. So this must be Brennan. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. God, this game is cool. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Where is the exit, actually? Oh, there it is. Didn't Brennan kill people? Oh yeah, he killed that- he did the execution. Alright. Alright, so now we can say as well, for the murder thing, that this guy was actually killed by Brennan. Right here, Henry Brennan. Oh! Three more done, baby! Perfectly executed! Brennan was a tricky one, dude. I don't know why. I guess it wasn't really that hard. It's just like, I don't know. I didn't read the body language in the scene. Because no one in their fucking... No one in the history of the world ever puts their hand to their fucking ear when they're listening to someone say their fucking name. That's like a... That's not something people actually do. <laughs> so I, I just like ignored that. that. That was a nothing thing to me. Says you. <laughs> Says you, idiot. Brennan was the last guy I got. He's hard, dude. 
you just like that, that if you don't look at like i guess i gotta pay more attention to body language in that game because that was not an easy connection that was honestly a pretty big reach all right let's keep exploring for a bit what's this oh that's just flies Hello. Oh yeah, this carpet retriever. Still got some more people that were like wrong about, and I know that because I would have gotten corrected and told that I was right by now, otherwise. But um, I'm not gonna sweat it too much just yet. I mean, there's gotta be a body here. Look, there's flies. Hang on, I'm gonna loop around. Hang on, how do I? How do I get over there? How do I get to that side? Right here, okay. Yes, here we are. Yes. So! How'd you eat shit? Someone's slapping them! Okay. This guy got shot fucking through a wall? Or what? Hang on. What the f fuck is that thing? Alright. Okay. They got stabbed through the. Jesus! Hey. This game does such an awesome fucking change between, like, realistic human interactions and now there's spider monsters in the game. It does it in a really cool way. Wait a minute. Gang! The hats! That guy might be the gunner's ass Oh wait, no, that was the bossin. Was it? I'm going crazy. I'm looking at hats now more than I'm looking at them. Soldiers of the Sea. Part six. That was a really cool reveal. They make for the lazarette. Glossary? <laughs> what the fuck is that? What do you mean? Oh! Oh, you don't mean anything. That's not real. Chat, what's a lazarette? Is that like a... Is that a thing? Or is that like a custom word from this game? Lazarette is a storage space. Okay. Well, this guy's certainly seaman tier stuff. But I don't think I can get much. I don't think I'm going to get much. I think this is more of a thing where we connect all the dots after we're done on this chain. I'm not gonna spend time trying to connect one guy when we could instead be asking about what happened to guy speared in half by uh, by big needles. Is what I would say if I wasn't about to go and try to ID him anyways. Actually, no, let's go. Yes. Yes. Take me to my target. Yes. I've got you. Don't move. I'll get you down. I got you. <laughs> Don't worry, it's nothing. We'll get you out of there. Those rascals. All right. That's definitely the surgeon. We know this.
Because that's how a surgeon operates. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm a doctor. We're just gonna we're gonna rip you off of that thing, and we're gonna tie, we're gonna put a band-aid on it. No problem. Tis but a scratch. Butcher. I'm still sticking by that. He's either the, this guy's either the butcher or the carpenter. At least now we know how he died. Meaningless. Meaningless. What the fucking hell? Wait, you good, dude? Charles? Ch Charles? We ID'd him. We already finished Charles, didn't we? Stop with. Yeah, these guys all made it out of this one. They killed it. They killed the weird crab monster spider thing. Penguin. Guy. Pirate. Oh, I know that's the boys. All right. All right. Just splashing it with water, make sure it's dead. Emil O'Farrell, he's either the butcher or the carpenter, one or the other. Met an unknown fate. Wrong. He was, uh... Speared? By a beast. I think speared is the right word. Speared or railed? Spiked? Spiked or speared? I mean, it's like they're both... Those are very similar fucking things. Yes, we'll see. I think both work, honestly, in this context. I'm honestly not sure why the dev gave it both. <laughs> Could just simplify it a little bit on that one. I'm getting the weird feeling he was the carpenter now because we didn't get any sort of real... I mean, again, I don't think we have enough correct left to get credit for another three. Okay, okay, just drop. All right. Okay. Wait a minute. You tell me that he died like this? You tell me my boy Charles died like this? Or are we looking at the spider? All right, it was Charles. <laughs> I think? Hmm. No, it's a spider. I need to go back to Charles' page. Charles, let me go back. I need to go back to your page, Charles. To refresh myself on how you ate shit. Oh. Oh, no. He never. We never found out how he died. This is him. Yeah, Charles got, um fucking impaled by about 30 spikes and then lit on fire good good hey it could have been worse he could have died of the black lung arthur he could have he could have gotten sick in in act two you know died a hero instead Look at all these guys. Man, how the fuck are you the bosun? I swear to God, you always have a ridiculous amount of firepower on you. What does it? That's it. What does the bosun even do? What do you do? I, I need to know. Foreman. Eh. Everyone else is just here firing. Who killed this thing? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, chat. Here's the real fucking tricky part of this guy. Because Charles Hirschdick definitely was screaming from the pain of the fire, not the getting stabbed. I think technically he burned to death. 
I think that what got him was the burning. Because he was certainly screaming in such a way that I think anything else would be a mistake to label. We can't say both. Where are we going now? Where next? Here, yes, here. Twofer. Wait, really? A twofer? Twofer. Alright. Hang on, I'm not done yet. Take me back right to here. Because you... I'm just gonna check... Our Winston Smith. He's one of the other dudes. Is that the carpenter, the fucking... Or is Marcus Gibbs? He's one of these fucking... It's one of these three boys. We'll leave him as... We'll leave him as Emil for now. Fucking giant crabs, dude. Tomato, I'm totally inebriated, but I, I think the octopus did it. Chat, you know what's the best thing about all this right now? Their insurance totally doesn't cover crab monsters either. Only, they're gonna get like none of their fucking, none of their claims going through. Like, I already know that. I'm just doing the rest of this to really nail it down for them. Literally none of this shit is covered. <laughs> they're covered for like leaks. That is a very scary mo- Whoa, wait, what? Who the fuck is that thing? Well, there's our- there's our butcher slash carpenter buddy. And this guy? Uh, killed by crap. This guy right here? Also killed by crap. I think we cracked the code on two of these guys. Is this guy wearing an apron? Yes. Wait a minute, is this guy wearing an apron? No. Chat? I think these two are buddies. Both wearing aprons. I think one, I think this guy, ah, oh, I think I got it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wing it. I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna try to connect my dots. Cross my T's, dot my I's. Oh. Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's just James Wallace, surgeon's mate. Or. It's. Or. Alright, or. It's Marcus Gibbs Carpenter's mate. One or the other. I didn't mean to close it yet. I'm not done with you, James. You were killed. Claude? Oh, never mind, I did it. <laughs> no, I'm done with you. Sergeant's mate. Charles burned to death. I knew you were Emil the Butcher, you stupid bastard! You're a damn fool for thinking you can pull one over on old tomato gaming. Well, crab riders now, by the looks of it. That or that guy's impaled by the crabs. But, uh... I don't know. Let's ask the next body in line. Who is... Wow, where's the next body? Oh. Up top. Alright, let's see, uh... Okay. Man, why would they- It seems honestly very inconvenient to, like, navigate this place as a crab. You know? Like, this doesn't seem- Wow, there's a lot of- Hey, at least we know how most of them died. Yeah, no, it's crab riders, dude. 
I feel like the crabs would not like being in this area. I mean, the crabs, could the crabs shoot the damn spikes or something? I mean, I would assume that the crab's shooting them because I don't think a human can physically throw a spike like that hard enough to impale and stick the person to the wall on the other side and break through the wood, if you catch my drift. So I'm leaning on the crabs shooting the spikes, if I'm gonna be honest. That or they have like spike guns. They'd have to have guns shooting it. Or they're not human. What's going on? Stay back. It's already on the net. Hey. Come on, boss. No, get there. Hey, cats. Oh. All right, it threw it. But it. Okay, this thing ain't human. This is a crab monster. And that also rides crabs, look at its arm. Yeah, it hucks them. All right. Fucking parried. This guy's name is Nick, isn't it? Well, this guy also dies here to this, it looks like. That's someone hiding guy and this is old man honestly didn't get much info here what was this another goblin all right this whole crew ate shit really hard they really did this crew really ate shit dude Who is this? How did they die? A demon. Out of the way. Beat to quarters. What's going on? Stay back. It's already done for, Nick. Why does it say I can't label his name? When he just called him Nick. Unless... I'm gonna try anyways. Unless there's multiple Nicks. I'm gonna check if there's multiple Nicks. Nicholas Topman. One Nick. It's the only Nick. Unless it means... It's already done for Nick. No, that's not... He's talking about... He's saying... I think it's saying it killed Nick? It's already done for Nick? Like that? I don't think so. It's already killed Nick. That's a weird way to say that, even with no comma. It's already done for Nick. Like, it's already done as in his life is done? That's a weird fucking way to say that. That's a really weird way to say that. And honestly, they haven't been wording many of the other stuff like that. Whatever, I'll wait for it to unblur, but that's probably Nick. That's a, that, I, They haven't worded anything else in such a way like that in the game so far. I'm not gonna operate on the assumption that all of a sudden they're using weird fucking, like, barely functional English. Where, where, where are we going next? Upstairs? All right. Unless this is Nick. I guess we'll find out if this is Nick. If it's Nick, then we're onto something. Nick? First sentence, Nick! No! Dude got crabbed. Yo. Hang on, just gonna... Yo, you Nick then? Is that sort of where we're at right now? I guess I'll have to check once it's done writing it. Cause he's not grayed out. All right.
right, here's, here's the boys. Here we got the usual boys. Brown, normal pack. Yeah, that's... That's not a good look. Yeah, that's... You hate to see that. Clearing the fucking edge of the fucking ship. You hate to see that thing. Oh, I know how to ID you somehow. <laughs> Sometimes it just be like that, bud. Sometimes it's just be like that. If this guy's still blurred, then that's Nick. All right, fuck you. Nick. Nicholas Botterill top man. Fucking speared? This is a spear situation. That wasn't. Sp I think this guy got. Nick got straight up picked up by the thing. I think that's a spearing. By a beast. That's a spearing. If you're if you're lifted off of the air by the thing, you've been speared. I gotta label this guy still, too. He got spiked. This guy got spiked to the wall. By the beast. Yes. Hang on. Okay, there's nothing else that, like, makes sense. Okay. Alright. I'm back, who we deducing? Fucking crabs, man. Crab people. <laughs> That's a really goofy looking eyeball thing when it's, well. Oh, is it really you next? I guess this is a good question to ask. Well, who, he got the, he got it the worst. He definitely got it the worst. John, you'll never believe how ridiculous this shit's getting up here. There were crabs here. They might still be around. We can't be sure. Crabs, John. Gigantic crabs. John. Oh. All right. Let's see how you got killed. Ah, yes. Wow, well, I'm up here, huh? This is, um... Alright. These guys handle stuff topside, for sure, obviously. Hey, there's Tattoo Boy. Would I? Did I solve him? I'd like to go to his story. Nah, uh, this actually gets us three freebies, if this is the case. Because that means this ain't... I mean, this... He wouldn't be the bosun's mate up here. He'd be a fucking... He would be a top man. Maybe Maba? He couldn't be a top. Persia, Omid Gull. It'd have to be some place with a really, some really wild tattoos. It's definitely none of the, definitely no one from China. I don't think it would be Lewis. Uh, well, it's definitely not the bosun's mate at that point. For now, let's leave him as Maba. For now. Leave him as Maba. Tomato is tattoo blind. Well, there's circles, bud. It's not exactly very obvious what circles are used as in tattoo work. I'm gonna leave him as New Guinea. 
for now. Now then. Because all these guys are top men. There's another one. Yeah. We know that all these guys are top mans. This could either be Huang Li, Zhi Zhang, Li Hong, or Wei Li. We have no way of confirming that. Yet. But this one, Beard Boy? We know. Wait a minute. Playing cards. Shot by a gun. When did you get shot? Hang on. I need to hear the dialogue to confirm it. Because this might be the Russian guy. I'd have to- I'd have to check. Hang on. Topman from Russia. Because he was also playing cards, I think. I think he was playing cards and he was like, shut the hell up when uh, everyone was, hang on, I can actually go check. Give me a second. I gotta go back to like sick level. Way back here. Bitter cold. Right here. I want to, no, take me back. There we go. Lots of people were present in this one. Yes. I think it's him. He was present in that one. He spoke. He spoke. It's either this guy or this guy. One of these two was our guy. Chet. I just have to go back and hear the audio for him. And we'll be on it. What about you? What were you in? Perished in Soldiers of the Sea part here. He didn't say anything, I don't think. There's nothing to really... Oh, I should label his death, though, I guess. Oh, well, we'll get, we'll get to it. And by we'll get to it, I mean we'll get to it right now. Who is this? How'd they die? Also clawed by a terrible beast. Okay. And you? No! Whatever, we got him technically. He's on the label. Who is this? How they die? Oh yeah, there was a guy getting struck by lightning during all this. Mainsail hauled up. Secure the braces and lower the topsail. Work fast. The wind is a lie. Certainly a helmsman. Well, a top. Certainly a topman. What was his accent, chat? Because he was talking. He doesn't necessarily look like he's Chinese. I guess he does look Chinese. His accent was, ah, true. Problem is that we don't have any way to narrow which one of these people is which. I'm gonna have to go back into this one to confirm who was talking. Samuel Calligan. For now, we're just gonna say unknown Topman for all these people. This unknown Topman was uh, electrocuted. Okay. Nicholas Botterill was speared by a terrible beast. How did I get to the... Oh, yeah. How did I get to the... Oh, yeah. Nick. Nick. His name was Nick. Okay. Hello? Oh, that's the exit door. All right. Who has their mouth open? Looks like they're yelling something. I mouth closed. I mean, I'm good at climbing, dude. Yeah, it wasn't this guy talking. At least we know that. Mm. 
We need more information. We need more. We need more. More. You know, here's the thing though. I have enough others already set to work that if I just go through all the people from China in a row, we might just get a freebie. <laughs> well, we can narrow it the old fashioned way, Ji Zhang. Top beast. There we go, gotcha. And you were mob! Hey! Cheating? Chat, I mean, I don't think that was... I don't know if that was super duper cheating. I mean, I knew it was one of the four. Uh, Maba, I was leaning, I already knew. I, I just went down the list. I knew it was one of those four. Eventually, it was going to proc the detection. I don't think that's really cheating. And that means now I can narrow down who the other people are on the top. Still don't know who this fucking goblin is. So I still don't know any of these people either. All I know is that they disappeared and must have, if they got off, they must have landed somewhere in the Azores or the Canary Islands. But I don't really... Hey, at least now we know that the bosun's mate is still fucked. Wait a minute. The squid, where is... The squid, where is my Frenchman? Alright, we can actually get the bosun's mate now. The crew. I think. Charles Minor from France. Where's bosun... Where's the bosun standing in this one? There he is. Actually, maybe not. I recognize that guy. That's the guy from the fucking top. Oh, I can ID that guy too now. Yo, are you John Davies? Maybe. I think that's his. I think that's the fourth mate. I think John Davies is the guy with the hat. Where'd you perish? You got shot by a shotgun. Captain can't be trusted. We can take the ship and sail east. Six others were present. Knifed by an unknown. Thomas Link, I think... I'm pretty sure we're dealing with John Davies. I think that is... I think that is the fourth. Because everyone else is wearing the nice hats. No one else near him in this picture is wearing... Good hats. At all. Hats are how I've identified who is of value and who is not. Hats are the deciding factor for your status on the ship. Wait a minute. Third mate, captain, first mate, second mate. That's the gunner. Shot by a cannon from an unknown attacker. How do we... Did we ever ID who was the attacker? Because we might be able to do that. Who lit the fuse in that one? They died in the process of lighting it. So it would have been this guy who was unlabeled. Hat profiling? Chad, it's not hat profiling. Whatever, I'm... You guys are pissing me off. You know what? You guys don't understand. Hats decide the fucking character of the person. And all I see when I look at this goddamn picture about all the crew members, all right? Of everyone on this ship. You know what I see when I look at these four? Captain. First mate, nice hat. Second mate, nice hat, only two prongs. Third mate, two prongs, nice hat. Do you see another fucking guy? Oh, wait a minute. This guy right here. 
That guy right there. Hang on one second. This guy right here. This guy right here is. The gunner. Was the gunner the whole time. No, he's not. What are you, crazy? Actually, he might just be the gunner. Wait a minute, he's totally the gunner. He's had guns. He's ha he he's handling guns. He's where he's got a weird hat. And that makes hat that makes top hat guy that was commanding everyone on that lineup not the gunner. Alright? That who that makes this guy right here. Okay, this fucking clown who died in the doom after getting shot, blown up by a cannon as well. Okay. That makes him someone else. Why would he be handling that? Why would he be handling part of the cannon thing? He's either the, he's probably Olus waiter. Or worse. Thomas Sefton the cook. I'm gonna leave you as Otis, Olus waiter for now. So much hat hierarchy. It's all we know on this fucking fucked ship. All right. Ship law. Ship hierarchy. He's going mad. Well, everyone could have worn name tags on this fucking trip is all I'm gonna say, chat. At any goddamn point, they could have worn name tags on this goddamn ship and they didn't. Do you understand? This is on them. They didn't wear the right name tags. This could have all been well labeled. But instead here we are in this crab hell. Yes. There is still more work to do. There's always more work to do. Nice. Rip that one, man. Yeah. Too much. Too much. Oh, oh, we're back here again. Bad way to go, bud. No! It was him! I get down from the E and the S! It's the artist! No! Hello? <laughs> Who's this guy? Paul Moss. Paul Moss, did I ever identify you properly? No. You still look like you. I still feel like you are the first mate, Stuart. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's holding spoons. He's a Thomas Sefton now. I've changed my mind. Cause this is the cook area. <laughs> All right, maybe you're the cook. I am done examining this guy's like poop situation. We can move on. Yeah, wait, I'm not done. You. You. Topman, Omid Gull. <laughs> that might be a reach. But I don't think it's that much of a reach. There's only one person from Persia on this entire ship. Persia or India? It's one or the other for this guy. But he's the only Topman. 
The steward would be much more fucking higher up, I think. I think he'd own a shirt. <laughs> I think the steward would have a shirt. You know what I'm saying? I think the steward would have a shirt. Yeah. Yeah, chat. I think the steward would have a shirt. And be pictured with a shirt on. <laughs> chat, it's not right. I'm profiling based off of the clothes they're wearing, all right? You can come at me for that one, all right? Because I am actively choosing their occupation based off of the fact this guy's wearing a fucking apron, all right? Like, we're deciding what they are based off of their clothes. He's performed his duties shirtless at his officer's command. I won't be having any shirts in my, in my area. People take their shirts off at the door of deck two. All right, Edward Spratt, artist, uh, crushed by a beast. Yeah? Or strangled by a beast. Strangled? I mean, look, could have been either, dude. Sort of unclear. I'd probably lean closer to crushed, though. Uh, we can swap it back. We're gonna, we're gonna be able to do a lot of this section, I get the feeling. Oh. I get the feeling we'll be able to clear out a lot of this. So, we'll be able to flip-flop and fix it when we get there again. Ah, we'll make it. We'll leave it as crushed for now. Edward. In cases like that, they can both work, I think. The game allows it. Oh, that's good. Because I'd be really annoyed to find out that, like, I struggled on a fucking character because, like, I chose, like, knifed instead of stabbed or something. All right. Let me on. <laughs> Over my dead body, you bloody day. Huh? How was that? There's no cause for trouble, boys. Dang. Or I forget. You killed my brother. What? There was an accident. The robes. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Nice. Oh, I shouldn't have waited so long. No, don't. Oh. Brothers, making it easy for me, bud. Who has the same last name? Shirley Booth Walker. Naples Walker. Gilligan, Buteman, Davy, James Bird. Man, I'm never gonna find last names in this fucking thing. Are you crazy? Booth. Peters. Peters. Samuel and Nathan. So this guy's either Samuel Peters or Nathan Peters. And the other one would have already had to have been killed by ropes. I don't remember kill I don't remember labeling anyone. Uh, do we remember anyone who died by ropes? Who had a who had a rope based death? I don't think I I don't think we had any rope based deaths yet. So I'm gonna label this guy as Nathan Peters for now, just so I've bookmarked like the thing. I guess. Label him as Nathan Peters. Shot by cannon. You know, I'm almost tempted to do the fucking triple swap on these guys until I get. Because if I get the right name on these two, then we get the credit for it. Might as well put their names in and see if I can wing it. One of them is Renford, Seaman. The other one is, I guess, Abraham 
or William. I mean, we're not actually going to get this. If I get this right now, I'll give 10 billion subscribers to the channel. All right? 10 billion subscribers. Just like that. I didn't get it. Sorry, chat. This guy hasn't been involved in very much. Who's this guy? All right. What the fuck is in that guy's hands? Books? Big mistake leaving such an identifying factor on your body. Books. Who likes books? Pursers. Aren't pursers like the fucking... Wait a minute. What is a purser? What is... What's their job again in the glossary? Because he's a nerd. I think pursers are nerds. Accounts manages small item store for crew. This guy looks like a fucking nerd. Oh my god. Nerd alert! Nerd alert! Nerd alert! We're gonna leave him as Duncan for now. Duncan McKay the purser. We can tell by his accent. He probably talked in the fucking scene too. I had to go find his other memories to see where else he was though. What about you? What do you look like? Eh. Topman. This guy's certainly part of the Topmans. Most of them hang out together, the Topmans, in their various sections. So he's probably an unknown Topman, I would put this guy at. Most of the crew's sections have hung out together and have been pictured together. But then again, that's Nathan Peters, so that's not exactly a... Actually, those guys aren't hanging out together. Topman, Leonid, Volkov. Did I ever confirm him? What? This guy might be the other Peters. I'm gonna just put this guy in it. I'm not, no, I'm not. That's such a reach. That's such a reach. We're not gonna do that yet. We need to find out how this guy... Who this guy got killed to really confirm anything. But... Hey, I'm gonna just fucking reach on that. Charles Minor, the bosun's mate. He's standing right next to the fucking guy. These people stand in pairs. Solid chance this guy's the bosun's mate. He's got everyone that's pictured together within more than two feet of each other. We'll see. Either way, we know how he died. He got clubbed. By one of the Peters. For this for now we'll say Nathan Peters. Until we've confirmed the other Peters. Let me on. Over my dead body, you bloody Dane. 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 Like Denmark. Lars. <laughs> I was baiting you with the bosun thing. Edward Spratt. I didn't want to believe it. And let's see who I profiled properly. Bazongus. Oh wait, no, that one was these. That was was the obvious one. That was the one that was super obvious, because that. Uh... Ah, frick. Shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Chat, wait a fucking minute! I didn't profile that boy! He died later! That's the one that I- that- 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, I did. No, that was the guy. That was the guy from the fucking hammock. This guy right here. It's fucking... That's fucking Alarcus. Dude. 10 billion subs right now. No, I was lying. I actually don't make any money off of this stream. It's non-profit. I'm getting out of here. Yeah, that's right, Chad. I was lying to you. I do it all the time. Disappearances. All right, seven wayward souls disappeared during the events of this chapter. Their fates are cataloged here. Yeah, how the fuck am I supposed to do disappearances, dude? I don't know where they escaped to. Let me go to the beginning of this section. They're off on the Canary Islands. Lars Lind Seaman. Yeah, okay, this was Lars Lind here. And that is Nathan Peters. All right. So if we got Nathan Peters right, that means that we can go and grab... I mean, I guess then we know the other Peters was killed by roping. We still haven't confirmed who the other Peters is, though. But we do know that one of the Peters is taken care of, so that won't be a mix-up later. And we know this isn't William Wassum, I think. Because there's only two people on the Indian list that are still left. So if we change that one to Abraham. Hang on. I actually do think there's a logic to that. Because the majority of that pack has been identified now. We identified those two. And these two, this guy doesn't have an ending yet. Right? Does he have an ending? We just missed it? No. This guy... Doesn't have an ending, but his name is identifiable. It's just interchanging. But they're both definitely... One's William, one's Abraham. For sure. Let's actually make it William on this. I'll make this one Abraham, for now. We're just gonna have to swap it once we think we have enough other, like, good hits. Okay. Yes. Chat? I think we're doing okay right now. I think we're doing... I think we're doing okay. It could be a lot worse. This is this is the other Peters. I'm just gonna say it's him because we already have his name and he's not grayed out. I'm gonna say this is the other Peters for now. Samuel Peters. I'm just gonna say it. Let's move on. Back to our grim work. I'm running out of places to discover bodies. Dude. We're gonna run out of corpses soon. I'm gonna be stuck to my own devices. Who are you again? Still don't know who you were, but you were spiked. We got you documented at least. Anyone in any of these rooms? Oh, these were the murder rooms. Who's in this one? This is the bathroom. Number two. This is chain murder zone where everyone died. Dude. If you find out who killed this guy, I mean, I guess it was this guy. We still haven't been able to ID him. He was clubbed by an unknown attacker. I don't remember who did the clubbing on him. Hang on, who did do the clubbing on him? I might be able to label who killed him, at least. Cause I think it was, I think it was Beanie Boy. I think it was the boy with the beanie killed this guy. What's all this shit? Yep. Alright. 
So he was killed by old. Hang on, what's your name again, bud? Henry. Got done in by the old Henry. You gotta hate being killed by Henry, dude. Got in, got done in by old Henry. Henry Brennan, Seaman. Yes. Yes. Brennan's like the fucking MVP of this goddamn game, chat. I swear to God, this guy's been everywhere. But yet he's just a normal seaman. This guy, I just know Christian. This is either, this can only be two people. All right. This is either Christian Wolf or it's John Davies. It can only be one or the other. I think. Because this guy's been seen carrying guns around. Like piles of guns. All right. I think he's Christian. He's Christian Wolf. Austria. I'd have to hear his accent. We gotta go. We gotta go back. We gotta go back one more chat. We can confirm this once and for all. We have to identify his accent. He's either gonna sound Austrian or he's going to sound English. Hope you guys can tell the difference. Sounds Canadian? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna operate in the assumption that he's the gunner, dude. I don't know, it's hard to tell. But I think it's the, I think he, I don't know, dude. Cause I just get the feeling this is the fourth mate. I don't know, I think I need more info on him. Gun or death by gun. I mean, chat, there's a cutscene of him literally carrying like five guns up a stairwell. We've spotted him multiple times with a lot of weaponry on him. And that shotgun was on him. He was carrying that gun. He got it wrestled out of his hand. So I think that we're dealing with the gunner. You know? Who's this again? Thomas. Killed by a sword by an unknown attacker. Do I not know who did that to you, Thomas? I feel like I know who did that to you by now. Let me go back one. Last one. Move quick. You'll not take the last one. <laughs> Where the hell are you again? Topman Leonid Volkov shot. I don't know if that's a Vol Leonid Volkov anymore because he didn't sound Russian right there. I think this is a Timothy. What was his accent right there, chat? What was this guy's accent? Didn't sound Russian to me. Sound a lot more like an English or Scottish. But I suck at accents. He said oi. Yeah, he did say oi. He said oi. 
I heard an oi. You're right there, dude. He did say oi. Leave my Timothy for now. And you? Didn't I hear Pete? Why did I name? Why did I change this guy to Cook? Wasn't it because I saw him standing near like the fucking like t like silverware? Where the hell's Pete? Or like Paul? This guy was originally I, I labeled him as someone else because I saw Paul Moss. Yeah, Paul Moss. Moss, first mate Stewart. It's still between the two. She definitely said. I'm gonna just label this guy as killed by Timothy for now. Until I can get a better option. He's in the... Actually, he's in the Seaman group. Samuel Peters. Wait a minute. Oh, this guy was shot. I need to go to the next step to really narrow this. Yo, lady. Were you again? All I know is that you, was, you escaped. You're alive. You went to, uh, Africa. Sure. I actually don't know. She's, she, she could be anywhere. Who's this guy? First mate. Oh yeah, that's why I thought it was weird. That's why I thought this guy was the first mate steward, because he was also here. Yeah, that's why I leaned on him being that. That does make more sense than him being a cook, I think. Yeah, I do think that him being Paul... ...makes sense, especially considering she did yell Paul. <laughs> yeah. It's a flip. Uh, it's a flip up between this being Timothy. This being. I wish we'd get rid of any names that were already taken out of the you know thing. Either way, we need to go to the next step for me to really get that any closer and like narrowed. I think. Hang on, what's done it? Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Thomas. Did we already ID you? Hmm, there's the fucking beard guy again. Crying with this guy. And there's dead bosun guy. Yeah. Yes. It all makes sense. No, it doesn't make any sense. I'm losing track of the fucking plot right now, Jen. I gotta get out of this place. I need to ask you. You're the one with the answers I seek. There's so many guys. Ah, those screams sounded angry to me. I still don't know if that, that still doesn't mean anything, but he was shot with a gun by certainly someone that's a passenger. It's not Abigail. So it's either Emily Jackson or Miss Jane Bird. Or Nunzio Pasqua. No, we, it's not Nunzio Pasqua. We already have confirmed who Nunzio Pasqua was. Didn't we? Yeah. Mm, well, we know they were shot by one of those two people, Emily Jackson or Miss Jane Bird. But... Miss Jane. Miss Jane. Miss Jane. Miss Jane, Miss. Henry Evans. Miss. 
Miss Jane Henry Evans. Miss Jane. Miss. I think this is Miss Jane. They, they're younger. All right, I'm, I'm aging, I'm age profiling now, chat. Miss, younger. Oh, we are, we are, we are doing every single level of automatically profiling someone. Ageist. Yeah. Shut the hell up. This grandma's definitely, hang on. Who, do we have any other Jacksons on the ship? Emily Jackson. I don't see any other Jacksons. Henry Evans. Any bird? Anyone with bird as their last name? No. No. I'm gonna automatically assume instead. It's easier that way. He's just labeling. Who the hell is this again? I still don't know who that is. At least we got these guys labeled. I mean, I'm still gonna operate in the assumption this is the first mate steward. Considering he's near the first mate. Who the hell is this guy? Wait, who's this jabroni? Second mate to do it. <laughs> Samuel. That's Sam. I can tell by his weird ears. No, I can't do that. But he is a steward. I'm positive he's a steward. Because this guy right here... Also a steward. You can tell because he's standing near these guys. This guy right here? Steward. Even if he was crushed by a cannon. Steward. Steward. They got those, they got matching fucking weird sh shirts. I need to go to where you died, bud. Who else was here? Third mate was here. Works for me. You're Roderick Anderson now. Congratulations, you've, give, you've been given a name. Yay. Yay. Congratulations. Congratulations. I'm getting the hell out of here. Who's this guy? I, I forget about this goblin so much, chat. And he's still out there. This fucking George Shirley looking motherfucker. This Patrick O'Hagan looking guy. This fucking Alexander Booth looking ass fucking Hamido Diom little goblin bastard with the John Naples face. I'm not I'm not trying to force it, but he is an unknown seaman. Let's get out of here. All right, let's look for new adventures for now. I think I need a little bit more context for a lot of these people still. Especially some of those, like, women. Let's go back into the depths. Use a powerful brain? Me brain hurt, me no able to do that. Brain hurt, me no do. Yes? Surgeon room, still empty. I know that new stuff like opens up every once in a while, so I do want to like check all the weird hallways and stuff. Make sure I don't miss anything. Carpenter. Well, next floor, I suppose. The deepest we can get on the ship. Wait, whoa, 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 you took the thing out. What are you looking at? What is it? Wait. What is it? What is it? <laughs> Ch 
Just some stowaway. Died hitting his head on the fucking block. Dumbass. Hey, man. You're definitely not top man anymore. I can see because you're in the lowest part of the ship possible. Wait a minute. Was there a reason I gave him top man as a position? Was it because he was up on the fucking sails at one point? I think I saw him on the sails at one point. He was not. Oh, because of the picture? Only because of the picture? I gotta stop profiling people based off of that picture. You guys should stop letting me profile people based off of specifically where they're sitting. It's honestly pretty bad taste. Well, congratulations. You are now Heimerdau Diem. No. John Naples. No. George Shirley. No. Hamadau. No. Patrick. No. Sea man. You're welcome. Oh. Oh. I see someone else is in this uh, horrible situation. Nice job out there, man. You're doing a good job. Doing some good stuff. This guy's moving barrels. No, I'm not done! God damn it, I'm never done. I'm never done on step one, dude. But this is like the beginning. Definitely the beginning of the trip. Yes. An unidentified stowaway expecting free passage and eventual freedom was instead crushed inside a falling barrel. A barrel held by ropes. Ropes in the barrel that then crushed a man. Who was sitting right next to our guy. Yeah. Actually, no, that, I'm not even sure that checks out. I'm not done in here, I wanna go back. I'm not done. Who's this fucking guy? Renfred Rajub, did I do you over? Oh yeah, you're good. Okay, you're good. Solomon, also good. You? You've gotta be another seaman. I'm not sure which one. But you are one. Everyone else down here is a seaman. All of you. This is the other Peters. I'm gonna fucking- I'm gonna do it anyways. That's right, game. I'm gonna do it anyways. Until something tells me not to. This here... Is Samuel Peters. Why does it let me put the other Peters in? If I already know that he's that Peters. Hang on, I think I just unlabeled the other Peters that I had originally. Now I gotta go like back there. One second. Which, which chapter was that in? Right here. Label him as the other Peter so I don't go crazy. And then he disappeared. We'll label him as, uh, I guess for now, alive somewhere on Atlantic Island. On account of the fact that we can only assume by going all the way to the beginning of this. No. Nope. Take me back. They were somewhere actually near the Canary Islands at this point. Take me back there. Wait. No, they weren't. They were, no, they were still near the Canary Islands. You were somewhere. You disappeared somewhere. I guess Atlantic Island is actually the closest. Oh, no. Canary Islands. 
We'll just say that for now. We'll just... We'll, so that way, at least I know that they, like, technically got out. Duncan McKay. Also alive, technically. On the Canary Islands. For now. Until it's proven otherwise. You again. So, uh... Ah, yes. Alright, this will- this will help narrow things. This should deal with the Peters if this is him. This should deal with the two Peters. Peter. Let's roll, let's roll! Hello? Oh, we're going further down. Went through me! Gross! Samuel Peters, you poor bastard. Violently crushed by falling debris. Now confirmed. Same, exact same image as last time. Honestly, we don't need to spend much time here. You can just send me out. Pretty much right away. Ah, yes. And thus... And thus... Samuel Peters, we confirmed your fate. This is Samuel Peters. Deduced even before the game thought I could physically pull it off. Thus the cycle is complete. He's too good. He's too good. Crushed by cargo. You tell me I'm still not done here? You tell me that I haven't got enough good ones? Yep. You're gonna look me in the eyes and you're gonna tell me I didn't get another three yet? After this? Hang on. I'm gonna get a freebie right now. You. Wait, who shot you? Wait a minute. You. You're. I actually don't know who you are. That's probably not happening. I could probably swap one thing from one of my, like, holdout selections that I've had and pretty much instantly get what I want. This unknown topman. Huang Li. There we go. Third mate Stewart! I wasn't actually expecting to get that one. That was one of my reaches. Seems like the game does expect you to just sort of say, Is this Huang? Or is it this other one? And just sort of go through it once you've narrowed down other things that you already know are, like, perfect. Seems like it just sort of expects you to do that. Because, um... It's not like I've been given direct names of most of these people. Alright, well... We've solved loose cargo. Aside well, from the fact that there is no... There is no ID for this fucking idiot. They're just dead. Okay, there's no point even caring about them. They're just gone. Who cares? They're nobody. They're fucking nobody. They snuck onto the ship. They're worthless. I won't lose sleep over them not even being... Oh, no. Crab Chan. 
Good to see you. I have sub mode on because I don't want people to come in here and instantly spoil the game for me as they tend to do in situations like this. What do we have here? Alright. Yes. Mapa? I can't ID any of these people, but this is when the crab attack happened. Nothing really, nothing really gained in the dialogue, though, from this. Just the same stuff as usual. Okay. I'm done here. Get me out. Pull me out. This monster perished simultaneously with a brave but unfortunate soul. Who is this? How did they die? Is that all? Five other people were present. I see, I see. Minus ten cool points? Take that back! Well. That finishes Soldiers of the Sea. That's everyone from Soldiers of the Sea accounted for. Every last body. Hang on. Yeah, chat. I'm reckoning. I'm not feeling very great tonight, honestly. And then I'm gonna wrap up. Uh... I may end up being this on stream, but I also sort of feel like I'm just gonna jam this tonight and finish it. But uh, I, mean, I hope that I hope that at least watching this maybe enticed you to want to purchase it and play the rest for yourself if you're interested. But uh, yeah, I'm not. I've got like my, I got. I'm not feeling great right now, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna get through the notifications quickly and wrap up, and I'll be back for Sevtech on Sunday. Yeah, yeah. I reckon I reckon we're gonna do that, and I will I will take a bit of a break tomorrow to hopefully get through a little bit of the. Get through a little bit of the pains I've been dealing with the last day or two. Permanent tension headaches are not fucking fun, man. Ha! <sighs> but yeah, this game's awesome. I love it. I think it's great. Don't don't interpret me possibly not finishing it on stream as me disliking it. I just think there's a very solid chance I'm just gonna beat it all tonight off stream, like while resting. That's a solid chance, because I'm really pretty into it. But I, I just don't have the energy to go for another fucking four hours. I, I just don't. I, I ain't feeling that. I can't. I genuinely can't imagine doing that tonight. So, yeah, we will be back. Uh, I might even do something tomorrow. We'll see. I'm going to leave it as a maybe tomorrow. I might end up doing Satisfactory tomorrow. Time to free the unsubs. Sure, sure, whatever. Fine. But uh, yeah, we'll probably. I might do something tomorrow. I'm gonna leave it as a maybe, because if I'm feeling like great, I might do satisfactory, or I might do something else quickly before we do Sevtech on Sunday. All right, so maybe. I know I've taken a pretty decent amount of time off the last couple of weeks, so I'd rather not. I'd rather not take tomorrow off if I can help it. So we'll see how I'm feeling. I don't want to go so long today that I feel shitty for the next like three days after, because that's. Can we get our points back, Master? Sure. Let's see if that let you all keep your points or not. Might have remembered them. Who knows, man? Yeah, I'm gonna get through the notifications pretty quickly tonight. I'm sorry. It's sometimes, usually four hours I can make no matter what, but once I'm at the four hour mark, like the last like a month or so, it's just like, sometimes I'm good and I can go for a while longer. I don't have any problems. Other days, it's just like, ah, my whole body is just like, it's time to stop. Get some food and, like, lay down. And, like, rest for a while. 
Are you all switching to Sevtech and FTB is dead? Yes, we're done with FTB. But yeah, I I would honestly say, I'll, considering how early I'm stopping tonight, I'll probably stream tomorrow. I don't know what I'll do, but I, honestly, I'll probably stream tomorrow. I'll, I'll probably do something. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll stream tomorrow. We'll do something at three or four. It might not be a super long thing, but I'll do something. Play this again? We'll see. There's a chance I come onto the stream tomorrow and literally say, Hi, I beat Oberdin. <laughs> off stream. There's a solid chance I'll just end up beating it off stream. Because, like, I enjoyed streaming it, but at the same time, it's a hard game to talk over. I think that, I think I'm glad I streamed it for the sake of showing it to people that may not know about it, but I'm also of the mindset that, uh, even in subscriber only mode, people were sort of spoiling things for me. And uh, there's a lot going on. It's fun. I enjoyed streaming it, but there's a lot going on in there. And it's uh, it's sort of it's sort of tough to commentate over that. But I think it's awesome. I think this game's great. But yeah, tomorrow we'll either, I guess, do Satisfactory or I'll whip out one of my one of my other secret games I've been prepping for a while. I've got a couple. I got a couple. I got a couple secrets. Grognog, thanks for the 11 months. Uh, Muffins Can Murder, thanks for the prime. Skillfully Daft, thanks for the 10 months. Salt Maestro Supreme, thanks for the four months. Lord of the Slums, two months. PK Manta, thanks for the seven months. Hojarufik, thanks for the three months prime. Master Rich, thanks for the 14 months. Red Waffles 02, thanks for the prime. More Lord Jimmy Jam, a trash kid, thanks for the seven months. Red Worthy, thanks for the sub. Corn the Blood God, eight, thanks for the two months. Knile, thanks for the prime. Ryan Rocks, thanks for the prime as well. Pick Lord, uh, ten months prime, thank you very much. Awesome Man, two, two, three, one, thank you for the three months prime. Tomato would be a good, would be a great voice in a video game, like a narrator of some sort. I don't think I'd be very good at voice acting, to be honest. But thank you. Brickhouse Man, thanks for the eight months prime. Oprah did more like Oprah into the bin. Very good. Another good one. That one ob, thanks for the five months prime. Deezer MK2, thanks for the four months prime. Can we have some water in pit four, please? The sewage pump is clogged again, and we keep failing to unclog it. I climbed all the way up here to ask you myself, Mr. Tamto. Hey, Amen. The answer is no. The answer is no. Cruel Oak, thanks for the eight months. Unreal Zombie Horde, thanks for the prime. Executed Python HGKC, thanks for the six months. Demo Crazy, thanks for the 13 months. Thank you for all your quality entertainment you've been providing in these trying times. Hope you all hope you stay healthy and continue to bring laughs for a long time to come. Thanks. Dodger, with 12 months. I fucking love this game. I, I, I can tell it's a fucking awesome game. I honestly do wish I could have streamed the whole thing in one sitting, but it's just like... Oh, my body... <laughs> my body and my joints they can't do it and you know why you want to know why ibuprofen stays in your system for about four hours or so you know how long this stream's been about four hours took like my painkillers about four hours ago and i usually don't take two doses of them so yeah probably just as a result of the medication wearing off i guess maybe next may if i'm gonna do longer streams i'll spread out the dose a little bit longer to try to help me out a little bit more why are you in pain would tell you if i knew but would tell you if i knew be home 10 thanks for the 17 months steel hawk thanks for the 14 months prime maybe play star sector smile maybe one day increased gradient thanks for the nine months prime it's that time to find Paul again. Yes. Solid Dust 1337. Thanks for the three months prime. Tabletop Joe, three months prime as well. Thank you. Scared Toasted, three months. I'm still kind of new here. What's this I hear about a pit? Oh, it's a place where all your dreams can come true. Young Pepe Fresh 420 Aqua. Thanks for the seven months. Very kind of you. Halkin Being, 10 months. Maxeo, 12 months. Thank you. Nadostra, thanks for the nine months prime. Based Ozer, thanks for the ten months prime. Crispy Chris, thanks for the uh, four months prime. Sick the Poet, thanks for the five months. The Meat Packer, thanks for the two months. Fuck Beanie Guy. Yeah. 
That guy's a fucking dick. And also was incredibly elusive. Voiceless Flu, thanks for the three months. Prime, I Lee, 2413, 13 months. Idiot Creep, two months. Crispy Otter, Prime, thank you. Slick Tone, eight months. Arnier Bjorn, thanks for the 100 bits. Man, how'd you get the footage? Yes, footage of my last ocean voyage. Ah. Nothing, nothing. It, does not, it doesn't concern it, none of your business. Night Coco, thanks for the three months prime. Kanzuko, 14 months. Lazy A, thanks for the sub. DR Dreadmore, thanks for the subscription. Gabber, thanks for the two months. Oh, God, Tomato, why'd you kill all those people? I don't know! Stripoli, thanks for the five months. And Clockwork Vulcan, thanks for the nine months prime. So again, chat, sorry to stream. Sort of had to cut off early. I have good days and I got bad days. Please don't. Please don't concern yourself too much with it. It's honestly, I don't feel like horrific. I just feel like, I just feel like forcing myself to go any longer would just be sort of, sort of to the point of, you know, I wouldn't be enjoying it. I'd just sort of be faking it to a certain point. It's hard to stream when you're like, when you're in any sort of discomfort, to be honest. But luckily this doesn't happen that much. So it's not a big deal, I guess. I had fun. This game's great. I will not be guaranteeing that I will finish it though. So please don't operate on some assumption that I'm going to beat this game on stream uh, because, you know, I might just end up beating it tonight <laughs> off stream in the rest while we're la while reclining in my chair. But yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. We'll do something tomorrow. I'm not sure what, but we'll do something at like three to four. All right. So I will see you then. I'm going to send you guys over to... Yeah, let's raid Connor today. We'll raid Connor. I'll raid Connor. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to do, but it'll be something. It might be satisfactory. If it's not satisfactory, it'll be something else. But, uh, yeah. That'll do it. That'll do it for me. See you next time. Oh, bye-bye.